Start to it well. Put your hands together for Jesus. I said, put your hands together for Jesus. If not for anything, for the fact that you are breathing, put your hands together for Jesus. If not for anything, the fact that you are alive today, put your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord? Are you ready for what God is about to do tonight? Hallelujah. <laughs> wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. We, we have one whole hour of praising our lover. I'm always excited to, to be here. You know, I've told you I don't take this for granted, right? Hey, it's a privilege to stand here and to sing to the Lord. Hey, do you know what that means? I'm not singing to the, the president of this nation. I'm singing to the king of kings and the lord of lords. It's an amazing privilege. Yeah, and I don't take it for granted. So I'm always excited to be here. Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord? Why don't we just put our hands together one more time to Jesus. Let's sing this song before we praise God. Cause you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else. Say, you are great. Say, sing, there is no one else. There is no one else. Like you, you are great. You do miracles. There is no one else. There is no one. One more time, we say, You are great. You do miracles. So Oh, raise your voice and sing it louder. Your life is a miracle. So raise your voice and sing. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles. So, oh God. Like you. Yeah. the glory and the other and the other Lord, Lord we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name you deserve the glory and the other say and the other Lord we lift our hands God. As we praise your holy name, you are, you are you do me a Yes, Jesus. Oh, God, there is no one else like you, Jesus.
You know we are in the Easter season, right? And and I just felt this song in my spirit. How many of you remember this? Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high. Oh yeah. So you know it, right? We sing Hosanna, Hosanna. Hey, Hosanna, Hosanna. Can we sing one more time? Sing Hosanna, Hosanna, hey, Hosanna, Hosanna in the night. And as this part I sing, Lord, we lift up your name, we sing. Lord, we lift up your name. See, these young guys, they don't need this song. For with a heart full of praise. And they say, this is exalted. Be exalted, oh God.
is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, sing how great, how great is our God. Try, yeah? Let me try the female version. Uh -uh. Let me stick to my lane. She can try it. Aya.
world sounds so lovely Let's go online. Hallelujah. Are we ready to give thanks to the Lord? Ask your neighbor, are you ready to give thanks to the Lord? No, 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 ask your neighbor. Okay, put your hands together like this.
praise to the Lord. They're not going to see one standing. They're going to move with us. Let's go. Hey. hey. One more time. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. The Bible says the Lord is good and His mercy is enduring forever. Hey. For the Lord is good and His love and yes, yes, the Lord is good forever. And I'll shout it out from the mountain top. Yes, the Lord is good forever for the Lord. So we can declare that this this night we are winner man hallelujah is there anybody who is believing they are a winner man i mean he died for us hallelujah all right let's go Let's 
Praise, I praise like a window man. 
say you are worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be hallowed, Lord. There is no other God like you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Even without the music, just raise up your voices unto the Lord. Rapalia Candelibu Sakaria Bagandi Repayana no Zadiaz Repacana Labadiz. Come on, speak in the language of the Spirit. Exalt this wonderful God. He has been faithful. He has been faithful. He sent His only Son to come and die for us that we may get to access His glory without any barriers. Repalabado Sekendeliz. Thank you, Jesus. Hurry. 
to the Lord. Praise it, praise it, praise it. Praise your hallelujah. Rapa Kasheke Televisa. Raposa Liama. Come on, somebody pray, pray, pray. Ropa Kasheke Televisa. Roka Liama Gandeliza. Arapaya. Thank you, Jesus. 
I am grateful. I am grateful. for dying on the cross for us don't get tired of talking to your father he's here and he wants to listen rapalia kandiriza rapoka nede basa kataliaba rependida kosa kariaba gandiriza ropalia kandanima she televisa rababa bandorika rapalia kandiriza rababa ore pasha katalaba rekendiriza le prenda deskate ropa ya kandiriza rapa kaya ropa ya gaze rapa seketida ropa ya gaze come on somebody raise it up raise it up to the lord for we have come to mount zion the city of the living god we are in the company of angels of innumerable angels who are here to minister to us Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, call on the Holy Spirit. Call on the Holy Spirit to come. Rapali Ariza, Rekinida, Rapakare, Repeshe Ketele Bebebe, Zakoraba, Rapali Akandiriza, Rapapapapapapapapa, Shedevi, Rapapapapapapapapa, Shedevi, Zarapakoriza. kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones only as you are will reign forever to his kingdom there be no There are kingdoms, there are mountains, only Yeshua will reign forever to his kingdom. See, there are times and there are
for you to be glorified for you to be lifted I all I want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be
of the devil be destroyed tonight, O oh God. Deliver somebody from suicide. Deliver somebody from depression. Deliver somebody from poverty. Deliver somebody from disease. Deliver somebody from divorce. Deliver somebody from discouragement. We ask for your power, O oh Lord. Come and set free. Come and lift up. Come and encourage the downcast. And lift up that which is bent. That your name may be glorified. And your name may be blessed tonight. You are welcome, Son of God. You are welcome, Holy Spirit of God. You are welcome, Eternal Father. You are welcome, O God. Come and have preeminence tonight. Come and be lifted up tonight. We welcome you, O God. With a clap and with a shout. We welcome you tonight. Woo! Amen, 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 amen. Thank you so much for your team. That was wonderful. May God continue to anoint you and to do you good. Amen, amen, amen. You appreciate the worship team? Why don't you appreciate them with a clap? Together with your wonderful leader, Pastor Parsi. We appreciate you, Pastor Parsi. Whether you want us to appreciate you or not, you're a good man. And you're anointed and you lead as well. So we appreciate you, amen. Good. Welcome to the house of God tonight. Tell your neighbor, this is the night that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. But they ask your neighbor what they got in Kiswahili. Pastor Liz, we excuse you. Pastor Liz, Pastor Justus, you are excused. This is for the others. Yeah? Ask them what they got in Kiswahili. 
<laughs> Ask them if they remember any medali. Sister Mary Jenga, do you remember any medali? I can see you're avoiding that discussion, you and... Uh, eh? Uh, or oh, you didn't get anything? <laughs> Hi, who remembers a medali? Ask your neighbor if they remember any medali. Pastor Afundi is not even making any attempt. <laughs> uh -huh. John? Oh, Dawaya Moto ni Moto. The simple ones. Well done. Uh -huh. Pastor Joshua, good lands. Continue looking the other way. We excuse you. Uh -huh. Which one? Mtaka Champunguni Shartia Iname. Hey, clap for Minister Beatrice Chosen. That's a serious one. Pastor Liz, I know you've heard that one for the first time. Eh? <laughs> eh, okay. I remember one which used to say, Asiye kujua hakudhamini. Who remembers that one? Mane ya juu ni gani na mane ya ndani ni gani ya iyo? Asiye kujua hakudhamini. Mtu ambaye hakujui hakudhamini. <laughs> Hawezi kuweka manani. If somebody does not know you, they may not put proper value on you. So somebody may treat you in a certain way because they do not know you well. And actually it's in the Bible. If you read the book of Acts chapter 23, the apostle Paul was presented before the Sanhedrin and he spoke very badly to the high priest Ananas. Ananias. Ananias. Mananasi, that one. Ananias. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Liz. At least that's where you come in. Eh? <laughs> Medali, you are not there, but the Bible, you are very much. Ananias, anyway. So, he took, called him a hypocrite and a whitewashed wall. But then he was told, this is the high priest of God. How dare you speak to him like that? And he said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was the high priest of God. Because the Bible says you shall not speak evil against a ruler of your people. So, because he came to understand this is the high priest. So, he changed his, his language. So, it is important that we get to understand people. And we get especially to understand spiritual matters. If we do not understand things of the spirit so well, we may not place proper value on them and we may miss the time of our visitation. Tell your neighbor, I will not miss the time of my visitation. For example, we had Jacob and Esau. Esau did not understand the value of the birthright, so he took it lightly. And in a moment of hunger, you know hunger won't kill you on day one. He quickly dispensed with his birthright for a bowl of soup, I think, and beans. But Jacob had a different understanding of them spiritual value of the birthright and he made the most of it and so in this day let's ask the spirit of God help us to understand the value of the spiritual moment that you have created for us tonight and in this place amen, amen. let us understand the value of the man of God that God has given us he's not an ordinary man he has not just come here to pass time or on tourism he did not leave Ghana and the United Kingdom to come here because he had nothing better to do it is because God has sent him here on a mission and how blessed are we that we are part of that mission. Amen? Amen? I'm sure when we come here, we pass several churches from our homes up to this place. But there is a reason why God has placed us here. So let us ask God, by the grace of your spirit, help us to understand the moment that we are in. Amen? And the spirit of God is able to help you. The book of Isaiah 11 2 tells us that it is a spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of God. So the Holy Spirit is a complete package ask him, help us this day, like in the book of Ephesians 1, that the eyes of understanding may be enlightened, that we may make the most of the opportunity that you have been given by the grace of God. If you read the story of David and Nabal, and the servants of Nabal, when David asked Nabal for help and for food, what did Nabal call him? Who remembers? He said David is a what? A slave. Say a slave. He says every slave now that escapes from their master thinks he's someone. So he thought of David as a slave. But what did the servants of Nabal tell Abigail? They said David was a wall to us. So they perceived David as a wall. He defended them from enemies. But Nabal thought he was a slave and Nabal paid the price for that. So it is important that we perceive the people that God has sent our way. What is their value? So that we do not call the walls God has sent into our lives a slave. I was listening to Pastor Deboe the other day. And he said that his spiritual father was not even an educated man. And you know, uh, Pastor Deboe has a PhD in applied mathematics or pure mathematics, one of the two. Yet he was told to submit to a man who has not been to school. And God told him, remain submitted to that man. The day you leave him, your son will die. And so Bishop Deboe served that man all the days of his life. Now it is not that God, in my view, would have punished him by killing his son. But it's because God already knew there was danger 
against Pastor Adeboe's son. And he knew where he had hidden the secret to that boy's salvation. So it is not that God wants to punish us, but he knows where he has placed our deliverance because he sends people with a package to deliver us. You could have gone to any other place, but God has sent you here because there is some work he wants to do in your life. There is something that he wants to do to bless you and to lift you. So let us not take it lightly. Let us not allow the devil to make us miss this opportunity. There's a certain man of God not too far from here. And um, he had two sons. And he had an assistant pastor in his church. Now, this is my own thinking. It is not that uh, I have a revelation or a confession from somewhere. And at some point, he chased out the assistant pastor because he thought the assistant pastor is doing a little bit better than me and people seem to be congregating towards him as opposed to me. And so he kicked him out. And after kicking him out within the space of one year, he had lost both sons. They were dead. And I thought possibly this assistant pastor was the wall in his life. And he did not perceive it. So let us have that perception. The same way the disciples, uh, the two men on the road to Emmaus, their eyes were opened and they were able to perceive that this is Jesus. Or like Jacob, his eyes were opened and he was able to know that this is the gate of heaven. Let's ask God to help us to have spiritual understanding to appreciate the moment we are in. Amen. And so with the revelation, let us stand up and appreciate the man of God. To know that God has sent him to be a wall to us, to be a blessing to us, to work the wonders of God and to bring us to a place of destiny. Let us appreciate God for giving us Papa, Apostle David, together with Dr. Eunice and their children. Let us appreciate them and ask the Spirit of God help us to understand and to make most of the spiritual opportunity you have given us. Let us also appreciate our in-house pastors. It is through them that God is working this great commission in our lives. We appreciate you, Pastor Liz, together with your household. We appreciate Prophetess Grace together with our household. We appreciate Elder Zablon and Elder Grace Zablon. We appreciate Bishop Lanya. We appreciate Pastor Rewell and Pastor Leah Rewell. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating them. Now appreciate your neighbor as you descend to the comfort of your seat. Tell them they are wonderful. Tell them they are welcome to the house of God. Amen. Let us also welcome our online viewers. Let them know that they are welcome to the house of God. We are happy to have them tonight. Online viewers, wherever you are, please let us know where you are watching us from. Put it there in the chat and we will be happy to know where you are coming from. You are all welcome and may you be blessed in the house of God tonight. As you are in the house of God, expect and know that God is going to do something wonderful in your life. And we are told that what the man of God says and what the ministers say, Let's not take it for granted. I remember it's Pastor Pasi who has been challenging us that at any moment, God can visit you. God has answers for you in every session of the service. So receive and receive. There's a certain man of God from Nigeria uh, called Dr. Wale Akinyemi. He ministered in this country for many years and I think only recently went back to Nigeria. The time he was preaching in the church where I was fellowshipping before and he told us that he went to preach in a prison in Nigeria. And when he was in the prison, he was led of the spirit. And he asked those prisoners... How many of you want to get out of prison? And some raised their hands. Some did not believe. So they did not raise up their hands. And so for those who raised up their hands, he told them, you will be free. And that very week that he declared that, there was a presidential pardon that was passed. And all the men who had raised their hands, they were freed. So can you believe when God says it? Just believe. The problem with us is we want an explanation. Now how? I'm here for 25 years. How am I going to be set free? What did Elizabeth tell Mary? That blessed is she who believed, for there will be a performance of the things which were told her of God. So your work is to believe, not to question God how he's going to do it. He knows how he's going to do it. Believe and receive. Let me also give you a negative example of how we can create our own destiny. It will still encourage you even though it's negative. You know some people like Pastor Pasi can be stubborn. They even have to be given negative examples so that they accept the things we are saying. Pastor Pasi, accept this one, please. And don't look at me with that intimidating look. So now, there was a certain man from my village. My village is not too far from here. And now in my village, there are no wild animals. It's just Kiambu, the lower parts near Nairobi. But we have chameleons. I think chameleons are the only... <laughs> they are the only... <laughs> and a few snakes, but, and harmless snakes. But chameleons, uh, I think, are what we have. Now, there was a certain drunkard when uh, we were younger. And you know those people who are always drunk and saying funny things. And he used to walk around saying, eh, <laughs> well, 
Some people have understood. He used to say, I will know the hyenas that will eat me. So he used to walk around saying, I will know the hyenas that will eat me. And we just thought, now listen to this madman. Where are even hyenas in this place? Now, it so happened he continued with that negative confession. And in the course of time, he moved to go live in Kitengela. <laughs> and he continued in his drunkardness. And one day, one day, he got drunk and slept somewhere in the bush. Guess what happened? Hyenas came and hit him. And that story really showed me what we are told. That you can create your destiny with your words. That man spoke so much about hyenas that he was even removed from where he was to be taken to the place of his confession. So if you are sick, continue confessing. I will be healed. Like the woman with the issue of blood who said, if I touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Keep on confessing and it is going to happen. So don't speak evil. Don't expect evil. Accept what God has said and the testimony of God and it shall happen for you. Amen? Amen. Good. Tell your neighbor, it's time to give. It's time to be blessed. It's time to give. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Media team, please give us 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 26. 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 26. Good. We can read this together. Then the king said to Abiathar the priest. I uh, see, I know it's raining. You wanted to listen to that sound a bit. Eh? It's rain. Ah, now let's read. Then the king said to Abiathar the priest, Go to Anathoth to your own fields, for you certainly deserve to die. But I will not put you to death this day, because you carried the ark of the Lord before my father David, and you suffered everything that my father endured. Let's read it again. Let's read it again. I feel some of you are not together with us. Let's say, then the king said to Abiathar the priest, to Anathoth, to your own fields, for you certainly deserve to die. But I will not put you to death this day, because you carried the ark of the Lord God before my father David, and you suffered everything that my father endured. So we see here this priest Abiathar would have been put to death by Solomon. This was Solomon cleaning house after his father died. And he was finishing the enemies of his father and the people who had opposed the ascension of Solomon to the throne. And he could have killed this high priest. But he remembered that this man suffered with my father. He stood with my father all the days of David's life until the very end when he was confused and he went to support Adonijah, Solomon's brother. And so he was spared because he had invested. There is something he had done with his life that spared him. And Papa has taught us many times that the sacrifices we make a time comes they speak for us when we have no voice to speak for ourselves. Like he told us in the days of Hezekiah that it was because of the way he had served God that God spared Hezekiah. So when we are invited by God to invest in his kingdom, in our services, in our giving, we are laying a foundation for very many things. And one thing is that these sacrifices speak for us in a time when we cannot speak for ourselves. I was listening to another preacher some time ago and he said that... Um, he was invited to pray for some military guy who had fallen sick and was on the verge of death. And he went to pray for him. The Spirit of God showed him a vision. And he saw like the way you see a phone and the phone tells you that there is no airtime or there is no credit. You cannot make a call. And what heaven was saying is that this man has nothing that you can lay a hold of to defend his case. He had wasted his life doing evil as opposed to serving God. And that reminded me of the story Papa keeps telling us of the woman, the Nigerian woman she, he prayed for. And when he went to pray, his prayers were not passing the roof. And he asked this woman, what do you do for the kingdom? And the woman said, I support 15 churches back in Nigeria. And Papa used that to make a case for the lady. And she's healed, and up to now, she's alive. Say amen. amen. So let us invest our time. Let us invest ourselves in the kingdom of God. Let me give you another small story from my village. My village has good stories. Say his village is good. Village. Except for the chameleons. I don't like those ones very much. There was a certain man... Um, he's a family friend. And, one, and he was a driver, had been employed as a driver. And one time, as he was driving, he found a lady with a flat tire somewhere on the road. And he decided to help this lady. And he stopped, helped her change the tire, and the lady left. Then some year, year or two later, this man had a small traffic issue. And he was arrested by the police. He refused to bribe them. And so he was taken to, to court. And when he went to court now, he was waiting. He admitted, yes, whatever I was caught about, I had done. And he was waiting to be sentenced. But it happened that the magistrate who was listening to the case was the same lady 
he had helped on the road. Do you think anything happened to him? She just told him, you are free. So the things we invest in today, tomorrow they will speak for us. That's why the Bible says God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that also shall he reap. So let us sow wisely. Every opportunity we are given, being in the house of God tonight, as opposed to being anywhere else, it is an investment. It is not going to be forgotten. It is not going to be wasted. Amen. Good, good, good. So with the revelation, let us give ourselves to God. Let us give first of ourselves and then also of what God has given us. So package your gift, package your gift, and we will commit it to God. Media team, you can also give us the online channels of giving so that we give. Good, good, good. So if you're ready, we can raise up our gifts to God. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this is the day that the Lord has made, that we may rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the opportunity to be in your house tonight. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for where each and everyone is coming from, oh God. Everybody has traveled a long way, my Father. Not only geographically, my Father, but even in the pathways of life, oh God, to be here tonight. And we thank you that you have preserved them and you have kept them. Both those who are here physically and those who are online. Father, as we come to the time of giving, as we give ourselves and of what you have given us, we ask, oh God, that you may receive it, O oh Lord, and that you may prove yourself to be the only true God. Oh, Father God, we ask that, Father, you will answer and you will fight on behalf of your children. Even them that do not have to give, oh Father, but their heart is cheerful and generous towards you, we ask that you will remember everyone, oh God, that, Father, you will encourage their hearts, that you will fill their hearts with gratitude, with humility and with strength, oh God, that, Father, you will fill their bands to overflowing, that, God, you will be their their defender, that you will be their wall around them, my God, that they will know that you are true, my Father, that you are faithful to your word, that Father, what you have said shall come to pass, that your word will never fail, and your promises will never fail. We ask that, Father, every lie the devil has told your children is going to collapse tonight, O oh God, that the truth of your word may stand in their hearts and in their minds, that they may know that you are truthful, and that you are strong, O oh God, and that you are able to bring to pass that which you have promised to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, the ushers will wait on us. Let us welcome the worship team again with a clap. A clap, a clap, please, for the worship team. Jesus. Hallelujah. We just want to love on the name of the Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mula kupenda na ku.
Oh, no. 
means fragrance that this song that you are lifting before the Lord may have come to him as a sweet smelling aroma and when we were singing that song I'm reminded of the women who at time like this after Jesus had been buried I think in their mind they were preparing the spices to go and anoint the body of our savior to preserve the body to keep the body intact even if it was going to have some smell but because of the fragrance and the and the spices that they were carrying their intention part of their intention was to make the place smell nice and I want us to leave that prayer today and tell God may I be that fragrance may my atmosphere have that fragrance of heaven that will attract that which is godly. Somebody lift your head, your, your voice and just decree and declare that Lord, there shall be a sweet smelling fragrance around me that will attract that which is yours in the name of Jesus. That will attract that which I have been praying for in the name of Jesus. I pray for a sweet smelling aroma around me. That whatever I may be smelling, any odor that may be around me, by your presence, O oh Lord, may I come out of this place with a sweet smelling aroma in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because of this day. We decree and declare a sweet smelling aroma around us. Rababo, shake it Tere bebe hande de babo zaya Rima maze ke tere bebe hande de babo zaya Whatever looks dead and has brought bad odor Whatever has been smelling oh God around us uh, That have made our destiny help us go far from us uh, That have made things to go away from us uh, Father we pray today that the atmosphere will be charged around us uh, And that there shall be a sweet smelling aroma uh, That will attract that which is good to us in the name of Jesus uh, Any smell that has made people to run away from us uh, Any demonic smell that has made people to run away from us And if you want this man that has attracted whatever is living in our life This body we decree and declare By the reason of the death and resurrection of Jesus We attract a sweet smelling aroma We attract a sweet smelling aroma We attract a sweet smelling aroma Reba telebe kande reba bose Reba bose kande reba bose I can't tell you about the country. 
Rabazi, Rakanta Rababaza, Raso Torobozi, Anana Mashante Rebabosa, Rabaso Kota Rabahaya, Remate Rebabasia, Ranto Sakate, Remamahan Tarabaza, in the name of Jesus, Hazukata. I don't know how many of us somehow you have ever found yourself in a mock somehow you have ever either gone to 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 get the body of your loved ones and i think these days they are trying these days they are trying those days when you will go to city mortuary I'm a Maya dada. even from the roundabout you will know there is a mug here but we thank god that they have improved or even when something a corpse on the road maybe a dog was hit or a cat was hit or whatever thing was hit by the road and you smell that smell you will turn and spit or you will run away some of us it's not that we are not good or we are very good we are okay we are correct but there is a demonic smell that the enemy has put on some of you how comes people see you and they never greet you how comes you have qualifications but you never get a job? How comes everything is good about you but nobody favors your life? There could be a demonic smell. But I thank God because these women realize that it is important to carry the spices and go and anoint the body of Jesus. And I want you to raise a prayer with a revelation. You see in the book of Job chapter 3 after Job had received the affliction, the Bible says that the dogs came to lick his wound. Some of us we may think that the dogs are just around to give us company but they are licking wounds why because they are attracted by the smell some of us we have dogs around us in the form of people all they are attracted with is the smell but I want to pray that today as we come out of this place, we are going to be impacted by the fragrance of heaven. That when we come out of this place, our aroma will go ahead of us. Everybody knows that when there is a smell aroma, you don't have to see the person who is wearing the perfume. The perfume introduces the person. I pray that after today, the fragrance of heaven will introduce somebody in the name of Jesus. As you cross to the month of April, may the fragrance of heaven introduce you. Somebody Lift a cry to heaven and tell God, let the fragrance of heaven introduce me in the coming month. Let the fragrance of heaven introduce me in the coming month. Let the fragrance of heaven introduce me in my workplace. Let the fragrance of heaven introduce me in the marketplace. Somebody lift a cry to heaven. We refuse to attract the dogs. We refuse to attract the flies. We refuse to attract the evil people. But because of the fragrance of heaven, we decree and declare we attract what is right. We attract what is right.
The blood of Jesus. Jesus. Somebody shout louder the blood of Jesus. Jesus. I want us to plead the blood of Jesus upon us. Even as we connect to the different areas from where the blood of Jesus bled from. So I want us to pray for our heads, our minds, our thinking, our intellect. The Bible says that they took the the, 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 arrow. The crown of thorns, and they fixed it on him. They fixed, they did not just place it, they fixed it to ensure that it fits well. And as they fit the, 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 the crown of thorns on his head, blood came from it. It was not just for a show. It was not just for a show. And I want you to pray for your mind. The Bible says that the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. 
but of power, love, and sound mind. I remember many years when I was in school, at times I would go back home because I was sent for uh, school fees. And we would make, uh, at times it is me and my siblings, and we will tell our dad, we are all here for school fees. And our father will tell us, do you want me to walk on the road talking to myself? That was one of the things he used to tell us. And we usually make joke out of it these days. Some people are walking on the street. They are not Rabbi Shantarik. They are not praying. They are not connecting. They are not taking dominion. They are stressed. But I want to decree upon yourself. None of you will lose their mind. Hallelujah. Depression is real. Oh. Depression is real. But you want to decree and declare none of us will lose our minds. Nothing whatsoever will make us lose our minds. Amen. Our children will not push us to the place that we will be talking on the road. We say no. Our jobs, our businesses, whatever it is, will not make us lose our minds in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare a sober mind because Amen. Jesus bled from his mind. I decree sober mind in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter the pressures of life. I declare sober mind. Amen. And I also decree and declare I am receiving revelation. The Lord is putting an idea in this head. This head, it doesn't matter if it is coconut head. Oh, it yes. must hear the word of God. It must connect and do what God is saying. Oh, yes. Somebody lift your voice, decree and declare. My head, my head, I decree and declare. You will not run mad. I decree and declare. I will not walk on the road shaking my mind. Nothing whatsoever will make me lose my mind. I decree and declare. By the reason of the blood, nothing will push me to the place where I will walk. I will walk and be talking to myself. I decree and declare nothing whatsoever will make me lose my mind. I declare sober mind, sober mind. January to December, sober mind, sober mind, sober mind. Marriage will not make me lose my mind. Ministry will not make me lose my mind. Business will not make me lose my mind. I decree and declare the pressure of life. they are going to pluck the beards of Jesus. They said, you, we will pluck your beard. And you know, beard gives identity. 
Any man who walks and is very smooth, very smooth, we may start questioning, uh -uh, what happened? <laughs> Beard gives what? Identity. Nobody will lose their identity. Amen. Nothing whatsoever will make you lose your identity. Yes. Somebody lift your voice, decree and declare. By the blood of Jesus, uh, I will not lose my identity in Christ. Uh, I will not compromise. Uh, nothing will make me compromise. Uh, I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus, uh, I will not lose my identity. Uh, nothing will make me lose my identity in Jesus. Uh, I will not compromise. I will not give in to the pleasures of this world. Uh, I will not give in. of the hands of Jesus. We want to decree and declare nothing will die in our hands. Nothing will die in our hands. Hallelujah. And whatever we find to do, it will prosper. Yes. Whatever you find to do, it will prosper. Yes. Let me just give you something. You know when Apostle was telling us in the beginning of there we shall be fruitful. And whatever we touch shall be fruitful. I made it, I made up my mind. I said this year, I will not touch my enemy. <laughs> touch my enemy so that they be fruitful. Uh -uh. Whatever you touch shall be what? Shall be blessed also. <laughs> I told myself, any physical war, I refuse. Uh -uh. Before I transfer my blessings to my enemy. So those who have been transferring their, their blessings to their enemies, stop it. Keep your hands to yourself. Be coming here, raising your hands to God, clapping your hands and cooking at home and doing what is necessary with your hands. So we want to pray for our hands. The Bible talks about uh, Moses being uh, 
Aaron and who lifting the hands of Moses. And as it was lifted, the Israelites and Joshua were, were winning. We want to pray that as we lift our hands, nothing whatsoever shall die in our hands. And we want to decree we shall continue to win every battle because he's the one who teaches us how to war. Our hands shall continue to win any battle. Please note, not physical battle. Hey, spiritual battle. We shall continue to win every spiritual battle. And whatever our hands find to do shall be blessed. And we want also to decree and declare any demonic holes in our hands. You know, some of us, we just lose money. Like now, you have received salary. You cannot account for anything because your hands have demonic holes. But we want to decree and declare because of the blood of Jesus, any demonic hole in my hands, it is sealed in the name of Jesus. With that revelation, lift your, your voice. Decree and declare the blood of Jesus upon my hands. If you can strike your hands, strike your hands, decree and declare the blood of Jesus upon my hands. Whatever I fight to do, it shall prosper. Whatever I fight to do, it shall prosper. Nothing will die in my hands. Nothing will wither in my hands. we don't have it anymore. Before we realize it has gone, we want to decree and declare whatever we will catch this time round, it will not go loose. Somebody decree and declare, my hands, you are empowered to keep. My hands, you are empowered to keep in the name of Jesus. My hands, I empower you to keep in the name of Jesus.
God, when Jesus was on the cross, these guards, these soldiers came with a spear and they decided to break his side. You know, they taught us in biology that these bones, they act as protectors of the inner organs. When, you, when, when the ribs are broken, you are sure the inner organs will be affected. Some of us, it is our helpers. Who, if our helpers are attacked, if our covering is attacked, then us who are inside, we are vulnerable. Some of us are breadwinners. Some of us are fathers. Some of us are, are, are people of, of, of caliber, different calibers wherever we are coming from. If you are attacked, that organization will go down. If you are attacked, your children will suffer. Whatever is, means anything to you, something that, that is like a protect, a, a, a guard, like a shield to you, I want us to pray for that thing. Whatever is a shield to you. And then we'll also pray that for those who are trusting God, either for partners, eh? either for partners, it can be in marriage, it can be in business, it can be every other way. Whoever is trusting God for a partner, this correct partner will come. And those who are in marriage, and your partner looks like he was pierced with Jesus on the cross, is misbehaving. Today, we also want to bring them back to order because of the piercing that Jesus received on his, on his side. You people pray, oh, don't wait for me, be praying. Father, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Father, whoever is my protector, I pray for my covering. I pray for my covering. I pray for my covering. I pray for your servant, Apostle David. We lift him before you, that Lord, you will protect him from every spear of the enemy. That Father, you will protect him from every arrow of the enemy. That Father, you will keep him as our covering.
We decree and declare, Father, there is divine healing upon every relationship that is under attack in the name of Jesus. And the Bible talks about the feet of Jesus that were pierced. They decided to nail the feet of Jesus to the to the to the to the cross. It was not just for fun. It was not just to make film for us to see and cry. It was significant for us that the blood of Jesus, by the reason of the blood, our steps will be ordered in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the reason of the blood, we shall fulfill our mandate. We shall finish our race. We shall receive our crown. We want to decree and declare our feet are anointed even to spread the gospel of truth. We decree and declare that wherever we step on, we possess in the name of Jesus. If you're able to move, you can just move and decree and declare because of the blood of Jesus, my feet I command you. You will go to the right places. I command my feet. Rehear the word of the Lord. The Bible says you shall hear behind you. The spirit of the Lord say unto you, Elizabeth, this is the way. Walk ye in it. My feet, my feet. You are ordered by the Lord. You are ordered by the Lord. I decree and declare. My feet, my feet. You are ordered by the Lord. By the reason of the blood. You are ordered by the Lord. You will not enter where you are not supposed to enter. You will not enter in the wrong places. My feet, my feet, I command you. You will carry me to where I'm supposed to go. My feet, my feet, we must be 
Just give me Habakkuk chapter 2. Sorry, chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 19. Just dropped in my spirit. Chapter 3, verses 9. Let's read together. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like the deer's feet. And he will make me to walk on high hills. It is not six inch hills, so high places. You are going to high places. You are going to high places. Some, are, are those your feet? Are they your feet? Yes. So they know your voice. Yes. <laughs> you will talk to your feet and tell your feet, my feet, you must carry me to high places. You must carry me to high places. These places I hear people are entering. They, today they are in parliament. Tomorrow they are in state house. The other day they have entered private jet. My feet carry me. My feet carry me to these places. Somebody command your feet this year. As we enter the second quarter of this year. I command my feet to walk on high hills. I command my feet to walk in high places. Where you have been denied before. Hey, my feet. Hear the word of the Lord. You have been strengthened. Let the feet of a deer. testimony this month. I want to be among the number. As they are being promoted, me too, I want to be among the number. Oh,
Jesus was on the cross, he said it is finished. I want you to pray as you're moving and that song is, is being played. And tell God to help you to finish this race. And to finish well. It will not just be about us coming to church. And that day we miss to see what are some of us. And we want to pray that Lord give me the strength and the grace to finish this race well.
Lord Jesus Christ, we are confident that in this month of uncommon testimony, God has manifested his power and demonstrated his ability to bring about remarkable testimonies in our lives. We trust that he will continue to reveal himself mightily, accomplishing the extraordinary in the matchless name of Jesus. Let's do a recap of our roadmap, which explains what our values as a ministry are. At Great Serena Ministries, we connect with God. We grow. We serve. And finally, we expand. In Jesus' name. Proverbs 22 6. Train up a child in the way teaching him to seek God's wisdom and will for his abilities and talents. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. The Grace Arena Ministries Children's Service is held each Sunday at the Children's Sanctuary from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and is open to children aged 4 to 15 years. Additionally, we offer an online Sunday school service at 9.30 a.m. East African time, specifically for children within this age range. Our Sunday school teachers are well prepped and and dedicated to sharing Bible teachings that aid in the spiritual development of your children. Lessons include crafts, songs, and storytelling to aid in retention. For parents who have children joining virtually via Zoom, please use the details in the provided flyer to log them in. Have you received a prophetic word or been blessed by Apostle David's ministry through his preaching and teaching? Can I prophesy over your life? Today I lift a prayer and the potential within you that is refused to come alive. People don't see your giftings. They don't see your skill. They don't see what you carry. The only thing they see are your frailties, your weaknesses, and your insufficiencies and incapabilities. But today, in the name of Jesus, I lift a prayer over your life. Every potential within you, we call it forth. In the name of Jesus. His books all received a prophetic word in Revelation 12 11. The Bible encourages us to tell others about God's goodness. Testimonies are a way for God to reveal Himself to us. We are eager to hear your personal accounts of how God intervened in your life, whether it be through healing, miraculous escapes from danger, sudden financial doors opening, restored relationships, or any other answered prayer. Testimonies serve as evidence to both believers and non believers that God. God is actively involved in the world and he transforms people's lives. Please reach out to Apostle Dr. David on plus 254-799-403-242 to share your written audio or video testimonies. To book a one-on-one -on -one session with Apostle Dr. David during the week, kindly get in touch through the number plus 254-759-212-574. First Timothy 4.12. Don't let anyone Think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Greater Grace Youth Church invites you to our services as below. Each Saturday, we have a physical service from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. We also meet on Google Meet each day at 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. for a session dubbed Fragrance of Tanks. Every Wednesday, we have a reactivation service from 8 to 8.45 p.m. For more information, please contact Pastor Lanya on plus 254-768-704-852. Please note, the virtual cell meetings are back and are held every Monday time, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. East African time. Please purpose to attend. All ladies in the house, please note, every first Wednesday of the month, our powerful Zoom session with our very own first lady, Dr. Eunice Owusu, dubbed a complete woman, is held. This coming Wednesday, the 3rd of April, we will have a guest speaker, Mrs. Victoria Mudakoreva, who will be speaking to us about the importance of nutrition. The session starts at 10 p.m. East African time. Please pop to attend as we learn about nutrition, which is crucial for making informed dietary choices, promoting optimal health, and preventing nutrition-related diseases. Do tell a friend and see you on Wednesday. Have you recently given your life to Christ? Our Grace Arena Ministries discipleship classes are on every Sunday from 12.15 to 1.15 p.m. at the Youth Church. For more information, contact plus 
0809-212-577. Our first baby dedication service in 2024 is scheduled for the 21st of April, 2024. We kindly remind all congregants that consuming snacks and soft drinks in the sanctuary is strictly prohibited. If taking water, kindly do so at the water stations outside the sanctuary. You are not allowed to bring the tumbler into the sanctuary. Our ushers and protocol team are mandated to wash you out to enjoy your snacks and beverages downstairs to help maintain the sanctity and cleanliness of our worship space. Please utilize the open area on the ground floor for these activities. Thank you for your cooperation and respect for our sacred space. This serves as a gentle reminder to all who generously pledged towards the contribution of our new church building. Your timely redemption of these pledges is vital for the realization of our collective vision and the timely completion of our new edifice. Please ensure to fulfill your pledges by sending your monies to the given details conveniently displayed on the screen. Your commitment plays a crucial role in enabling us to move forward with this significant project. Thank you for your continued support and dedication to seeing this project come to fruition. In conclusion, this week's wisdom nugget from the International Forensic Prophets Desk reads, God commands us to love everyone, but not everyone Everyone is supposed to be your friend. Don't relate with everyone at the same level. Thank you for being part of the Grace Arena Ministries family. God bless you all and welcome once again to tonight's prophetic Kesha. May the blood speak. Good afternoon, Papa. I am taking this opportunity to thank you for praying for us, for standing with us as a family. This afternoon, I want to testify on God's goodness. Last weekend, I mean last Friday, the morning prayers, I remember the last prayer mm -hmm. point was on, we intercede on behalf of our, of our brothers and our sisters. And so my tears were on behalf of my sisters and I prayed to God that he may, he may give her a job. And still she had texted you to ask for prayers so that she can get a job. So that very Friday, she was called and she was told there is a, an opportunity in, in, in a certain uh, organization along Naivasha. So she was to get an interview this week, but the receptionist who was to call her didn't call her. So there was sort of a delay. So in the course of the week, we have been praying and feeling like there's something that is not right. So yesterday morning after the prayers, we held hands together, we prayed and we prayed and we asked God to honor your words. And I remember that that Bible verse that says that God will honor the words of his prophet. He will confirm the words of his prophet. And so we stood with that and we asked God, let us get that 24 hour miracle. May, may this match, we match into our victories, into our, into our opportunities. And so we prayed and we thank God and we finished. So this morning being on a Saturday, I was like, oh God, can we have a 24 hour miracle on a Saturday, you know, waiting for a job. And so I was like, ah, maybe it will happen on Monday, but our hearts were expectant, even my sister. So around 11, she had received a call from the same organization telling her she was supposed to go for an interview today, but the reception receptionist didn't call her. So in the process, the receptionist forgot. So today, that is when the human resource called uh, called my sister and she and she asked her to prepare for Monday. Monday there's an interview scheduled for her and he was she was asked if she could she could stay over the resort in the uh, I mean during the whole week so that she can be trained to work. Already the HR wants to give my sister the job. In fact he was telling us she, that she once she gets there she will be she will be I mean, she will be trained, whatever it is that she needs to be trained, then he will hand over the docket to her of HR. And remember, she has never, ever gotten a job as a HR, and yet she has a degree in HR. 
So, Papa, uh, uh, we are praying for God to see us too, for favor to come uh, uh, to be with her during the interview process. Amen. Glory, glory to God. We thank God the Lord Jehovah has done it again for me. Glory to God, glory to God. Good morning, Dr. and Apostle Papa David. This is your son, Professor Mayenga, with a testimony that I have been highly honored in London on the 25th March this year in the course of my CPD by becoming a full certified member of the International Association of Maritime and Shipping Professionals. This membership is not easy to get. Only God can make it happen. I continuously dedicated my time with full focus in advanced learnings and uh, I have been elected as a full member after successfully passing the examinations with the distinction in uh, shipping management with the accreditation in logistics and supply chain management done at Lloyd's Maritime Institute in London, UK. We thank God and I thank you, Dr. Ari, for your prayers over my soul and the church at GAM. See you soon. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all the time. Amen. Praise the Lord. I intentionally had to make my praise the Lord very soft so that you don't think it's, uh, it's the man of God. It's me. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hey. Hey. No. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Are you enjoying the service? Because at first we are still laughing at you. It is well. Are you enjoying the service? Are you ready for what God is about to do tonight? Hallelujah. That's, I feel somebody already has a testimony. Do you have a testimony already? Hey, some of you are not sure whether you have a testimony. Do you have a testimony already? Yeah. Eh? You know we are speaking faith. Eh? Do you have a testimony already? Yeah. Wow. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. There's a song I want to sing. Um, it goes like, uh, This is a victory song. Jesus be glorified. He has taken the pain and given me laughter. Ah. You know that song? Got a melody in my heart. Mm. A new song in my mouth. Uh -huh. Can we sing it again? This is a victory song. Jesus be glorified. He has taken the pain and given me laughter. I got a melody in my heart. New song in my mouth. Hey. Sing for joy, tell the word of his great works. Emmanuel has done it again, oh. Yeah. Emmanuel has done it again, oh. Emmanuel has done it again, oh. I have come to testify. He has done it again, oh. He 
Emmanuel has done it again, we say. Emmanuel has done it again, no. Second, second, second. Emmanuel has done it again, no. Hey, Emmanuel has done it again, no. I have come to testify. You don't want to go to do it again. Woo! Come on, give the Lord a resounding shout. Hey. Are you blessed to be here? Is there someone that want to testify to God tonight? Just raise your hand. Let's see you. If you want to testify, just walk up here. You can be seated in the heavenly places. God bless you. Hallelujah. Just walk up here. Just run down here quickly. Amen. Just uh, give me a microphone. Just come here. Hey, Glenn. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. What is the microphone, guys? Yes. God Church. I'm grateful and honored to be here to testify and I'm practicing on how I'll be talking to dignitaries 
it's a hot place here. And so let me just go ahead and testify. Uh, my sister has shared the testimony, but that is in the past. She uh, was asking for favor uh, from the man of God to pray for my sister. So um, my sister has already gotten a job as a HR. She was gotten from hold the on, village. Hold on, hear the details yeah. of the testimony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Let me reverse a bit so that I can come how we came here. We came here last year on around, I think, I don't know, on April or May. I don't remember very well. But on 11th of July, uh, Papa told us our life will never be the same again. I remember he told us uh, for, to pray, to fast for 14 days. And we had never fasted. So we were like, hey, 14 days. And then we came back uh, after 14 days. He told us we go for 21. Now we were like, hey, 21 again. And he told us to bring the soil. So when we brought the soil, he prayed for the soil. And then when I went back, I told my dad, now you are the Moses. You are the one to carry the cross. Us, you are the one who, who is going to face the battle. Because I know the battle of the soil is not easy. So I told my dad, take the soil. It has been prayed for. Go back and take it to the land, but you go alone. Us, we will just hold your hands, <laughs> but you have to. Something is going to happen to you, but just be prepared. It was on 11th. Then on 12th, my dad started nose bleeding. 13th, he was uh, attacked completely. He was now gum bleeding, a lot of bleeding uh, on the floor, on the sink. He could brush and blood could be full on the sink. So we, he went to the hospital and he was checked and the lab technician came running and, and then they, they, he gave the test to the doctor and then they decided to take the, 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 the test to current hospital. And when the test came out, they were not good. So you are told now we had to go further and check a hematologist, a professional hematologist. Uh, because I, my dad later told me they had been told my dad could be, he could be having leukemia. So, and he had lost a lot of weight. So he went to Nairobi, Upper Hill. We checked like a, a, around three or four specialists. And for every specialist, we were spending 5,000. Remember, we didn't even have a house here. But then I then gone now, I already relocated from the village to Nairobi. Wow. And my business, which he had promised to be relocated to Nairobi, a business, beauty shop, it's already here. I'm running it. So, uh, Put your hands together for yeah, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So my, imagine he was bleeding. We were from, we are from Karatina. So he started bleeding when we were almost to border Matatu. And I told Papa, May, can I come with him in church? But Papa told me he was doing his PhD that time. But he prayed. So he went up a hill, we checked. And then later, to make the story short, my, my, the test came out from the hematologist. Uh, and imagine there was no, nothing, nothing was found. <laughs> nothing. He was just given supplements. Supplements for three months. And we had been told to book a bed in Kenyatta or KU Hospital. But we never spent a lot of money. We never, yeah. yeah. So later on now, after my dad got healed, my brother, who was working as a hawker in the city, I, I went and I told him, I want you to show me where you, where, which, the, which streets you normally sell your clothes. And we went to Latema Road and I told him, you don't belong here. You are an, an engineer because my brother has done mechatronic engineering. In, at, uh, and he was a hawker? Yes, he was a hawker. Wow. And has done mechatronic engineering. Hold on there. Lift up your right hand. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name My destiny shall not be exchanged. Yes, it say whatever heaven ordained me to be whatever heaven ordained me to be i shall become i shall become in the name of jesus in the name of jesus continue yeah, yeah. um my br i told him you don't belong here because he had even done a diploma in custom and administration at kra in westlands and imagine he was a hawker um so my brother uh, was called for an interview because somebody had referred to him, he was, uh, uh, when he was an intern in school, there was somebody who, they became friends, 
but he totally forgot about the friend. So for the friend called him and he told him there was a vacancy. So my brother uh, was told to report and go for an interview. But like, we prayed with Papa and then they called him. They told him, no, you don't come because they already picked someone from there. As with my sister, we are radical women, I'm telling you. I, they told me, come with the um, certificates. I laid them on the altar and then I wrote a note. They told me to write a note to God. We wrote a list of what we wanted, including job for my brother. And uh, so on, on Sunday, I forgot to pick certificates. Then on Tuesday, I came pick them. And then on Thursday, my brother was called to go and report to work. Wow. <laughs> Remember, to report to work, to report to work as what? As an engineer, and he has never, he has never even worked. You remember he was working in the city. So yes. when he when he went for an in, for an interview now for the manager now to check or his qualification anyway he didn't have qualification and so the manager told him. They had already uh, some. Uh, my brother's position had been taken by another person, mm -hmm. a mechanic who is an insider there. So they decided to train that mechanic. The mechanic could not get anything. <laughs> my brother was now hired. He was told, "You are an you are an engineer, and you should not uh, just mix with these people because you are in a higher position." Position. Wow. He was shown his working station. He's working at KTDA. And wow. he's really, <laughs> within a week, he was repairing the machines. You know, uh, T, T, we normally manufacture tin here for export. So there are those machines, and they are big machines. Within a week, he was repairing the machines. Come wow. on, put your hands together for yes. Jesus. Yes. Wow. From a hawker <laughs> to what? Yes. Yeah. And he was working. You know, it's not just a title. He has done it. He has, rep he has been repairing those machines for real. And now, uh, to make the matter better. Uh, uh, my sister now uh, applied for a, she was just uh, on Facebook, so she decided to just type any job. And then a hotel popped out. And then she inboxed the, the, the hotel. Then somebody replied and said, we don't have a vacancy, but we're gonna tell you when a vacancy arises. My sister was caught, it was on Feb. I think last week she was called, last week, but once she was called, she was told there's an opening in another hotel, which she had never even applied. The guy told her, I have already seen your CV, and I think I will give you a job. I Remember the CV doesn't even have qualification as well. So she, she went, uh, she was told to go to Naivasha on Saturday, and then that day they forgot to call her. So that HR consultant asked her, why have you not attended the interview? And my sister said I was not called. So she was told on Monday, come to Naivasha and do the interview. But later they called, it was on a Sunday, they told her, no, don't come to Naivasha. Just uh, come to Nairobi. The manager will be coming to Nairobi to make it easier for you and do the interview wow. together with other people. I'm telling you, we were like, eh, this thing is too good. We thought it is gone. So she, with the direction we were given, we were like, hey, these people are con. How can this thing be so good? So she never went. They called her, they were like, why didn't you come? They told her, now come to Naivasha. If you really think we are con, come to Naivasha and do the interview. She went to Naivasha, did the interview. And uh, she was told, because you're from Nyeri, just walk around the hotel. And then the rest of the guys who did the interview with them, they were dismissed. She went, she anointed her feet. She went around the hotel, uh, everywhere possessing, and then they called the same day. They told her you are hired. Wow. Hired, <laughs> hired, hired as what? As HR. 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 And she does not have certificate, yes. the qualification for that. She has a degree, yes, but she doesn't have experience. For HR. No. But she was hired. She was hired. And then the person who, who told the manager to hire him, he said he knows her and he, they have never met. That is the first wow. time. He said, he said, yeah, <laughs> Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Release my destiny help. Release my destiny help. See, the person that told the HR to hire the sister said to the HR that he knows her, but they have never met. Yes. Can you imagine that? Yes. 
May God release somebody to put in the word for you. I said, May God release someone that will recommend you. If you are there, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Papa, this is not the HR who is hiring my sister. Mm -hmm. My sister is the HR now. Your it's sister the is the manager. HR. Okay. Manager was told by the HR, HR. consultant Thanks. to hire her. Wow. Yeah. So your sister now is the HR. She's, she's the HR. From uh, Karatina to <laughs> HR. From Karatina to HR. Holy Jesus. Now today, today, let me tell you, things are getting better. Today, mm -hmm. they hired two managers. Mm -hmm. One has 20 years experience. So she was told to do an um, orientation for them. She asked the now that HR consultant, how I, am I going to do orientation? And you never did orientation to me. She was told, you, you already did self-orientation. You went round, now take them round. She took them round. She has, yesterday she was given an office. She has a, her own office. Wow. If they are knocking on the door, they are just bringing tea for her. Snack, oh, Jesus. Her and you Jesus. <laughs> Jesus from yeah. Karatina. <laughs> yeah. They are knocking the door. Yes, madam. <laughs> knocking the door. They are mm -hmm. calling her madam. You are like, calling your sister madam. Yes, they are calling wow. her madam. You know, as she came to my shop, I told her, you have to, I have to sell you my stuff. You have to sell you makeup, handbag. Yeah. Now you are handbag. selling your stuff to your yes. sister. Yes. <laughs> I told her you are madam. Yes. Actually, I had told my sister, you, you are supposed to work in a hotel, the HR, because she is very talented in cooking. She normally creates uh, uh, recipes from the from her from her, her head. So I had already told her like a month ago, you you are you work in a hotel, you be a HR in a hotel. So she, she today she told me she did now the orientation, three hours orientation to them. Imagine she she reported on Tuesday, and today is fr no on Wednesday. Today is Friday, and she's doing orientation to <laughs> to managers. And and even the, the the chef, everyone in the hotel, they are recognizing her, and they even tell her, "Oh, you are looking so good," because I already told her to groom herself and I look know. like one. Yes, she has to. <laughs> yeah, we thank very, God. Very, very necessary. Yeah. We thank God. I don't take for granted this altar. Uh, when we came, uh, our ch her child was, I think, three years. She was not. She was late going to school because of she could not speak. She lay on this altar. He lay on the altar three years. He was praying. I don't know what he was saying. When we were going home, the child was speaking. What a God! I said, what a, come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Give the Lord a resounding shout. The child could not speak. She laid, the child lay here and the child started praying. By the time they were going home, the child was speaking. Yes, my parents were so surprised. They were like, what has happened to the child? The, the child was speaking and we took him to school. He, he was, he, we took him to school for baby class. Now he was promoted to PP1 because... <laughs> what? what a God! What a God! What a God! You see, you see, see, there is something I wanted to clarify about your brother's testimony. See, when your brother went for the interview, did, did he have his um, certificate? He, he had the certificate, mm -hmm. yes, but uh, the, the note was still here. The what? The note. The note was still here. Yeah, the note was still here. Uh -huh. you, know, they, you know, they were hired even before they were met, both of them. Yeah, people are not hired in interview room. They are hired before. Before even they went for the yes, interview. Yes, yes. They were called and told to, to report. How do you tell someone to report to work and you have never done an interview? And then when they come for interview, you hire them. <laughs> they were the altar is speaking for somebody here. I receive. I said the altar is speaking for someone here. I receive. I said the altar is speaking for someone here. I receive. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Uh, yeah, so I, I thank God for this. Sit opportunity. down. I don't take it for granted. Be, remember, the, the reason as why we don't take it for granted, we were not going to church ever since COVID for so many years. So when we came to, when we saw an altar like this, oh my God, it was, uh, we always thank God to be in church. Remember, we used to wake up 4 a.m. in the morning to come to church on Sunday. 
We used to leave Karatina 5 p.m. to come wow. for Kesha. Their Go sacrifices has sleep, paid off. Uh, From Karatina to come to Kesha. Yes. Sleep for one hour. Go back to work because we have another beauty shop in. So sometimes the clients could call us and we could just wake up and go back to work. Yes, so it is a sacrifice, but we thank God for the man of God, uh, what you've done in our lives and my family. It is hope for everyone, who, those who are not working, those who are working maybe in a toxic environment, they didn't want a dream job. It is possible. It is possible. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> From a beautician to HR, from a hawker to an engineer. Wow. Now, from uh, not speaking down to speaking. Yes. Now, this is, you see, if from leukemia to zero results. You see, this testimony, is, if I was saying it, you might think possibly somebody is making it up. This one is from the people themselves. Mm. Any time we declare something here, believe yes. it. Believe. Leukemia to no result. Child that is not speaking comes here. By the time they are going home, the child is speaking. Hawker to engineer. Village girl to HR. May God do something new in your I life. I receive. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Glenn, I've not seen you in a while. Tell us what God has done. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God again. So one is telling me different kidongo. So the last time I was in church, yeah, after after first service, I was there. So purity came to me and uh, he told she told me that I have dreamt that you have you have had an accident and uh so we prayed. We prayed just there. So me I went home. So on Monday took my bag, go back, uh, went to school, from school to work. The next day on Tuesday, uh, in the morning from work, went to school. So in the evening when I was coming back from school, I was now rushing to work. So it happened in Kona Cross Highway. No, no. So when I was crossing, the first car stopped, the second car stopped. But so I was just walking. But when, when I was the second car, Nikona kuna two gari me fika up. So I decided to jump. No, no. So when I was jumping, before the balize, I can pa. Now pa. So I just find my myself in the other side of the road. No, no. So by that time, Siko ni me umia vibaya. So ni kamuka ni kajanga liangalia. Look at the car. Yo gari lugo imeenda. So. I decided to go to work because we called Bakisha like a and like three hours to he called me back in like 100 meters. So ni kahenda to kidogo kidogo ni kafika kwa kazi. So ni kakaka after two hours easy. Hey, no ni kariya le zenye ni megongo na gari si by skin. So ni kale meo, you know na. So the ambulance came. They wanted to carry me that bed when you can be able to see me and buy a cup on a dairy. So they call me, they call me, even though I've, I had an accident, like in Sidio me and buy a tiny cup and belly in a day, not dairy. So ni kaka na dere. So tunaenda. So the driver, that driver was asking me, "Bana uko metoka wapi?" Nikamwambia, "Bana kwa nimetoka shule na kimbiza kazi." So masai liko imeenda. Hiyo gari imenigonga imeenda. Nikaangalia saa. Hiyo hiyo gate inaenda kufungwa. Kabidi nimefika. So ndio nimeelemewa nikakuja. So I got admitted uh, it was on Tuesday. So on we, on Saturday Saturday morning nikakuwa discharged. So after the being discharged, I said, ah, leo kuna generation G. So I went home, take a shower, nikava generation G. Tukaenda. So, tukafika apo generation G. Iyo siku, nikafil kama niko sawa. Nona. So, nikacheza cheza. Nika, nika cheza, nika dance. Nona. So, nika umia tena kidogo. Nona. <laughs> so, Sunday, na church, 
sasa nimelemewa nikasema hey leo ni online so that day ni kwa online siku kuja church on that sunday so monday hiyo monday nikaenda kufanya exam shule tuesday tulikuwa tunamalizia exam so tuesday nimemaliza exam uh, na tena nakimbiza kazi unaona karibu napo penye nilipigwa tena hiyo <laughs> tutana na cross unaona iko ni hiyo nje na hapo old shops hiyo nje inaingia utawari utaring eh so nilikuwa na nikasema this time i have to be very careful unaona so nikabeba bag tu kidogo kidogo nika nikavuka na waliza tu hivi nikashikwa ha eh. <laughs> so I was wondering eh unajua when you don't know na mtu akushike unasema eh bwana nini mbaya so so siko nime siko nimemuona vizuri kumbe ni police so nilikuwa nime ah bwana unashikia nini eh kumbe kuangalia nikapigwa pingu eh for the first time in my life nikapigwa pingu eh tukaenda police station sasa unajua hiyo nimetoka nimetoka OC nimeenda shule tena nashikwa eh sasa tukafika I was arrested eh I was arrested nikapelekwa Roraka police station So kufika hapo nikamwambia bwana simnisaidie simu nipige nyumbani. So the, the, sana apatiwa simu hivi usijuni usibidi ama usiyes ashakuja. Ingia huko ndani kijana. Hey. So tukaingia huko ndani tukahesabiwa kesho koti makadara low court. Hey. Nikasema hey now, now this life is becoming tough yao. <laughs> so hapo makadara low court tukasomewa mashtaka nikasikia siku kumi kwa jela eh? ama fine so siku sasa ilikuwa nafaa kulipo hiyo fine jina yangu tena walikuwa wameandika vibaya wakaenda kulipo hiyo fine wanasema kile wewe mwenye mnamtafuta yu mimi mimi nikaikoa kwa basi industrial area maximum prison <laughs> so, <laughs> so Eh nikafika industrial area maximum prison tukatolewa piga magoti eh but the, the, lakini watu wako ruthless <laughs> tukafikisha magoti tukafika hapo tukafika room fulani hapo nikamwambia bwana toa kila kitu nikamwambia toa kila kitu nika nikatoa sasa unajua nikatoa nikabaki na short na boxer sana waangalia naambia wakaniuliza unasikika lugha gani <laughs> nikaambia kizungu na Kiswahili my friend toa kila kitu hey. tukaenda tukavalisha zebra ah <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> tukatoka hapo tukaenda room next wakaniambia ulinyoa mwisho lini nikaambia na nyoanga uh, kujuke hapa wakafika kila kitu. Unaona niko na mavi? Si. <laughs> wakafika kila kitu. Unaona? Ukabaki kipara. Tukapelekwa kwa room nyingine. Eh, ushiuwa chawa wana hawa. Wana hawa unauwa chawa. Yaani eh. eh. So there I said, "Guy, I want to see nikuja tu nitolewe bana hapa." Eh, hey, yeah. Lakini hapo pia ifanya ni kalan. Unakwambia watu wanaomba. Ushaona hapo kwa prison niliona watu wanaomba. Alini kajiuliza, "Kwani Mungu? Hapo watu walifanya nini?" Ju, venye ushaona mtu anaomba, hata design hata wewe uombagi. Yaani eh. Alini kajiuliza, "Kwani eh?" So, mtu anakuja na kuuliza bwana, "Wewe ulishikiwa nini?" Atikuvuka baraba. Eh. <laughs> Adikuvuka barabara nikamwambia eh hey. hey. so nikaka Thursday Friday sasa ilikuwa e, e, Friday tukapeleka kunini kufanya kazi sasa tumevalishwa hizo zebra tumetoka pandishwa lori tukapeleka eh hey, nilikunya nilichimba trench nilifanyishwa kazi eh hey, hey, hey. nikasema hapa naye eh wale spindi sisi tutaka kukaa so nikaka Thursday Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, June. Nikasema, 
eh leo nafaa tu kutolewa. Ushasa unajua unafaa kutolewa leo lakini unaona ni saa nane, bado hujaitwa jina unasema eh hadi leo tena niko hapo. Sasa so, by but nzuri nikatolewa hiyo Monday but nililala na Ireland like people pray. Unaona mtu anaomba hadi anajiuliza iko ni wao walikosa nini jamani. Eh hey. kama Mungu anasikia kama maombi kweli au watu wanafaa kusikia kwa umbi. <laughs> eh, 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 so nilikafidia lakini nililala lakini kwa bahati nzuri sahi I thank God sahi unaona niko nimerudi watu wengine wanasema nimekonda lakini unaona nimenona ama nataka niwapigie story hiyo diet kidogo <laughs> uh, I just want to thank God eh hiyo kama ule aliyota nimepata nimepata accident vibaya no sikupata vibaya naona so na sema tu ni god ali preserve life alafu hiyo nini hiyo jela hiyo tu ni my lesson to learn naona eh sasa ni experience tu fulani sasa mimi sasa hii nikapo kando yako nikwambie bwana usifanye hii na kuambia kitu najua eh so come on let's appreciate jesus i said let's appreciate jesus let's be upstanding let's be upstanding you see every saturday we have that one testimony every friday there is that one testimony yeah that that stays up this place it's good trust me see if you see some of the ex- you hear some of the experiences people go through you just come to a point of understanding that we serve a prayer answering god yes are you getting me yes sir. there is nothing that god cannot do yes say you neighbor there is nothing that god cannot do cannot do yes lift up your hands unto jesus just begin to worship him. give him praise give him praise you are yahweh you are yahweh give him praise you are yahweh give him praise yeah you are yahweh li hado shabana bani mi hada
somebody in the eye and say neighbor the blood that Jesus shed is speaking for me say the blood is speaking for me say the blood is speaking for me how many of you know the theme for this Easter conference the blood does what say the blood speaks shall we say the blood speaks Shall we say the blood speaks? The blood speaks. How many of you are ready for the blood to speak for you? Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. You can be seated in the heavenly places. God bless you. Go with me if you would right now in the, to the book of Hebrews chapter 12, reading from verses 22 to 24. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, today your life will never, ever ever be the same again. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus. Shall I receive the word? Receive the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I work on the word. I work on the word. The word works on me. The word works on me. Say it again. I receive the word. I receive the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I work on the word. I work on the word. The word works on me. The word works on me. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 22. Read one go. Now shout it like your voice is yours. But you have come to where? Uh, now, I want us to read it like we are claiming something. Now, let's read it, please, from the New King James. Not unless I sh shift it and be fast and be focused because I'll be teaching and preaching at the same time. So, be fast. Now, let's shall we read one go. But you have come to Mount Zion, to, to the city of the living God, and to the heavenly Jerusalem. To what? To an innumerable company of angels. Again, the Bible says, but you have come to where? I've always told you this place is where? This place is where? This place is not Bungomaru. This is our Mount Zion. Somebody say Mount Zion. Mount Zion. Says, at Mount Zion, that is the place you are possess and I know without a shadow of doubt that by the time we live here today yes. somebody shall possess their possessions I, receive. I said you shall possess your possessions I receive. because the Bible says at Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall do what possess their possessions anything you are believing God for this Easter 
Yes. By the time we are through till Monday, yes. may you possess it. I, I said, may you possess it. I, I said, may you possess it. I, I said, may you possess it. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive shout, it. I, receive. I receive. He says, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the Bible says you have come where? And to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. Anytime you come to the house of God, understand yes. that you have come to a gathering of angels. Mm -hmm. Somebody say gathering of angels. Gathering of angels. Yes, we are human beings that are here also. Angels, angelic beings are literally present here. You may not see them physically with your eyes, but you need to have a revelation that angels are here. Tell your neighbor and say, angels are here. Angels are here. No, no, no. I want you to connect with somebody and say, angels are here. Angels are uh, here. Shout it and say, angels are here. Shout and say, angels are here. Angels are here. Uh, tell your neighbor, angels are here. Angels are here. And he said, you have come to an innumerable company of what? Angels. Next verse. To the general assembly and to the church of the firstborn who are registered where? In heaven. Registered where? In heaven. Registered where? In heaven. Tell your neighbor, my name is registered in heaven. My name is registered. No, no, say, 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 my name is registered in heaven. My name is registered in heaven. So the Bible says we have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly, and to the church of the firstborn. All those adjectives are going back to describe the church, the place, the Mount Zion that you have come. Are you getting me? Say you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly, and to the church of the firstborn. And I've made you understand in the past that at every church, in every ministry, there are angels of God that are present in the ministry. You don't, we don't have to pray for angels to appear here. Even when there is no one here, as long as this is a consecrated Mount Zion for us, angels are here. Tell your neighbor and say, angels are here. Angels are here. I remember two days ago, I was here at 6.30 a.m. in the morning, and um, literally I could see someone here in the corner praying, someone here in the corner praying, and I felt like, wow, people are literally testing after God. 6.30 a.m., I was here, and people were ready to lift up prayer unto Jehovah. Are you getting me? Yes. At every Mount Zion, the Bible says, there are angels that ascend and what? Descend. descend. Somebody say they ascend. They ascend. And they descend. And they descend. They ascend with the prayers of the saints and they descend with the answers. The first time the name Mount um, Bethel or house of God appeared in the scriptures was in Genesis chapter 28. When the Bible says, the scripture talks about a man called Jacob. Jacob had a dream and he saw a ladder whose top reached up to heaven. And the Bible says, God was at the top of the ladder and angels were ascending and descending. Now I want you to note what happens here from that particular scripture in Genesis chapter 28. Now let's read Genesis 28 verse 12. One go. Now Jacob had a dream and a ladder was set up on the earth and the top of the ladder reached where? It reached where? And the angels of God were ascending and descending. Now, I want you to note the order. The Bible does not say the angels of God were descending and ascending. Under normal circumstance, if we are seeing angels, the angels should have been descending and... But here, the angels were ascending and descending. Why? Now, let's continue. Uh-huh. And behold, the Lord stood above it. Now, look at the picture. There was a ladder. And the Lord was at the top of the ladder. And angels were ascending to the Lord at the top of the ladder. And descending. 
Are you following me? Yes, sir. Are you following it? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh huh. And said, I am the Lord, God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. Uh huh. Uh huh. Next verse. Skip, skip to the next verse quickly. Ne next verse. Go to the next verse. Now, then Jacob woke up. Shall we read one go? Uh -huh. Surely, the Lord is in, in this place and I did not what? Jacob saw angels ascending and descending and he thought that place was a trivial place and he woke up from the dream and said, wow. The Lord is actually here and I did not know it. He said, surely this is what he said, the Lord is in this place and I did not know. Next verse, next verse, next verse, follow me quickly, please. And he was afraid and he said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than there. This is none other than there. So at every house of God, that was the first time the name house of God appeared in scripture. And at the house of God, Jacob said there was a ladder up to heaven and angels were ascending and descending. Somebody said they were ascending and descending. They were ascending and descending. And he says, no, this is none other than the house of God. That means at every house of God, there are angels that ascend to God at the top of the ladder and they descend with answers. They ascend with what? They ascend with the prayers of the church and the sacrifices of the saints and to who? Who was at the top of the ladder? So they ascend to God with the prayers of the church and they descend with what? Answers. So any time you come to the house of God, whether you meet a pastor or you don't meet any pastor, yes. there are angels already at the altar mm. ready to receive your prayers yes. and your sacrifices. Yes. And they will ascend with the prayers mm. to God. And by the time they are coming back, they shall come back with answers. Yes. So I need you to have a revelation that any time you step into the house of God, yes. angels of God are already available. You don't need hands laid on you for a miracle to happen. Why? Because the angels of God are ready at Bethel. That is the house of God at Mount Zion to ascend to God with your prayers and descend with what? Are you hearing me? Yes. So you must walk with that revelation. That is why Jacob was saying, ah, so the Lord was here and I did not know it. Many of you think that the Lord is seen in the man of God or the miracle is effected when the man of God lay hands on you or, or pour oil on you or shout at you and make all the noise and put saliva on your head. That is not how the miracle comes. As long as you enter into this auditorium, angels are already here to ascend with your prayers yes. and to descend with answers. Yes. And some of you, you can come and receive nothing. Why? Because you are like Jacob. The Lord is here, but you don't know it. You, don't, you have not come to a place of having a revelation that God is in this place. Somebody, so for some of you, if somebody doesn't touch you, you feel like you have not received an impartation. You don't need to be touched. Just have a revelation that angels of God are present today to do what? To ascend to God with your prayers and to descend with what? Answers. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. So Jacob said, for the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. So when you come to Mount Zion, there are angels ready to ascend with your prayers and to descend with answers. This morning, I pray for you. Yes. Every prayer that shall be lifted here. Yes. Angels of God shall ascend with their prayers. Yes. And by the time they are descending, you shall have a testimony. They shall descend with your testimony. They shall descend with your answers. If you are here, shout, I receive it. The angels of God are here to ascend with somebody's prayers. And to ascend with your sacrifices. He says, you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. Let's go back there. To the heavenly Jerusalem. To the general assembly and to the church of the firstborn, to the 
who are registered in heaven to go the judge of all and to the spirits of just men made perfect. Now next verse, verse 24, that is where my message is. Everybody read loud and clear. One go. Uh-huh. Now he says when you come to the house of God, you have come to Jesus and to the blood of the sprinkling. Any time you come here, you have come to plead the blood. He says you have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of the sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of who? Somebody say the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus. Shout it, say the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus. Shout it, say the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus. Shout it, say the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus speaks. He says, when you come to the house of God, you have not just come to an ordinary place. You have come to Jesus. Number two, you have also come to a blood that is speaking. So any time you enter here, the blood of Jesus begins to speak for you. It begins to speak for you. Amen. 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 It begins to what? Speak for you. And what is it speaking? Now let's go there. What does the blood of Jesus speak? Now the blood of Jesus speaks, number one. It speaks preservation. By your being in this auditorium, and if the enemy had possibly targeted anything against you, the blood of Jesus will begin to speak on your behalf. Amen. I receive it. Number two, the blood of Jesus speaks against the accuser. When the enemy accuses you in the court of heaven, the blood of Jesus acts as an atonement, atoning blood that speaks on your behalf. You see, in the courts of heaven, before I come to preservation, let me talk about the atonement. The, in the courts of heaven, the devil accuses every one of us. Because he, the devil looks at you and presents your case before God and says, look at this one, he's not correct. He comes in, when you are praying for a job, you are praying for a breakthrough, you are praying for something, the devil will go and tell God, so this one, you want to give him a job? Look at what he did yesterday. Look at what he did two days ago. He does not deserve that miracle. When, he, when the enemy is accusing you in the court of heaven, the Bible calls Jesus the advocate. When you read the book of First John 2, the Bible says Jesus is our advocate. So when the enemy is accusing you and I before God because of what we did, the blood of Jesus speaks and atone and appeals the wrath of God so that what we don't even deserve, we get it. Not because we qualify for it. because Not because we qualify for it or we deserve it. It's just because of the fact that Christ sacrificed his blood. Mm. So the blood is what speaks for us. For us to be able to get the things we don't even deserve. Mm. If not for the atoning blood that speaks on our behalf, ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely nothing we shall receive from God. Amen. Guys, be fast, okay? Now let's go. Now let's read First John chapter 2, verse 1. Uh -huh. Let's read one, go. Now let's read it. Uh, let's read this in, a, in, the, in, the, in the Amplified. First John 2. Shall we read one, go. Uh-huh. Now this is John writing this epistle. Now John, I was preaching this earlier today. I mean, we had a powerful service today at Rehabob Spaces Ministries and uh, Pastor John and Prophetess here. Come on, appreciate them. Appreciate them. Yes. So I have preached a first sermon and I'm here coming to preach another sermon. Are you getting me? Yes, so this is my second service. Are you getting me? Yeah. So, it's not a joke. And then, Saturday, we are still going to be preaching again, and then come for men's fellowship, and then go come, go and sleep and come on Sunday morning, go there, and then come back Sunday afternoon. The Lord help us. <laughs> now, let's continue. Now, John is writing this epistle, and he says, my little children, now, I want you to follow me closely so that you don't miss it, okay? He said, my little children, dear believers, dear ones, I am writing these things to you so that you will not what? In other words, he knows that the little children, they sin. 
Oh, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. He says, I'm writing these things to you so that you do not sin and violate God's law. And if anyone sins, we have who? We have who? You see, the more you communicate, the more you are able to assimilate what is happening. We have who? An advocate. Who will do what? Who will intercede for wow. us with the Father? So he says, I am writing these things to you so that you do not sin. But in case you sin, in the court of heaven, we have someone called an advocate. And the advocate is interceding for us with the Father. And when you go to the court of law, there is something they require more called evidence. Somebody say evidence. Evidence. Now, with the evidence that Jesus has, the gene, that evidence is what is used or presented in court to be so that the judge will acquaint you of whatever it is case that is being leveled against you. The evidence every time. Come, can I get somebody? Two people here. Let me illustrate it quickly, 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 quickly. Now, this man is say say he's called Joshua, and let's assume this one is the devil. Let's assume he's not the devil. Now, Joshua, now this one is accusing Joshua before me. And who can be Jesus? Somebody come and act as Jesus. Yes. Jesus, this is a Jesus with a necklace. This is a, this is a modern Jesus. Now, Jesus, can I, I wish you get something to represent the blood. Get something, can I get um, 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 something to represent the blood? Yeah. Now, 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 okay, re can you remove this? Are we safe? If you remove, you are safe. Thank you. Now, he shed his blood. So, ho hold it, stretch it. Okay, like this. This is Jesus. He sheds his blood. So now, the devil is accusing this man. Now, come stand this side so that you, yeah. The devil is accusing this man. This is the devil, and I am God. He's accusing this man before God. So that this man is praying for a job. He's praying for something big from the Lord. Now, this is what happens. So when this man starts praying, immediately the devil will start to present. Haven't you seen? I've seen him. Can I get a book? Can I get a book? A book, a book, a book. Yeah. So now, he begins to open the book and read to me what all the sins this man has committed that should disqualify him from getting anything he's praying for. Are you getting me? The devil is called the accuser of the brethren. In heaven, all that the devil is doing is to accuse you before God. So when this man is praying for something big, the devil starts reading the sins of this man. Are you getting me? But now the Bible says we have an in the court of heaven. And the advocate shed his blood. And the reason why he shed his blood is that if this man commits a sin, the blood will now speak on his behalf and cleanse him. The Bible said the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So anytime this man is praying, the accuser will come and present, he has done this, he has done this, he has done this, he has done this. Now Jesus will say, sir, I went down there. I shed my blood 2,000 years ago. And because of the blood, even though he does not deserve it, he does not deserve the job, he does not deserve the marriage, he does not deserve anything at all. But by the reason of the blood, yes. I shall give it to him. Can I tell you something? Yes. If you go to God right now, if not for the blood that was shed over 2,000 years ago, there is absolutely nothing any one of us can receive from God. But because of the atoning blood of the Lamb, yes. even though you are a murderer, yes. even though you are a fornicator, yes. even though you are all the things that we can put together, mm. God still looks at you. Even though you don't deserve it, He says, I shall give you. Amen. 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 Now He says, Now. Now, shall we read First John 7? Then we go back quickly to the scripture. Two. Shall we read First John um, um, 1, 7? Shall we read one? Go. Uh, everybody, read it like your voice is yours. One, go. Uh-huh. Now this, I want you to read the second part loud and clear. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from 
from some sins. He says the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. By doing what? By erasing the stain of sin, keeping us cleansed from sin in all its forms and what? Manifestations. So even though this man committed so many sins, the blood starts to speak. And the blood washes him, cleanses him from every sin, all forms of sin and even its manifestations. So when this one is coming to the court of heaven, because the blood has washed him, and the blood is speaking for him. This devil is presenting all the sins he has sins, but the blood speaks on his behalf. So what he does not even deserve, he gets it because the blood is what? Speaking. Amen. And you see, he didn't say the blood spoke. It is a continuous present tense. The blood speaks today. It will speak tomorrow. It will speak the next day. Anytime you appear before God, there is an atoning blood in heaven that speaks on your behalf. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Yeah, so because of the sins of this man and the devil coming with all the accusations, God would have released wrath and judgment over this one for all the sins he has committed. But the blood, when God is about to hold, release judgment. Now, use the blood to block me. When God is about to release judgment over him, the blood literally holds back the hand of God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Now, go to verse 2. It is in the Bible, just that you don't read your Bible, so you don't know it. Read one, go. Now, I want you, everybody, read it loud and clear. One go. And. Uh huh. Uh huh. The atoning sacrifice that holds back the wrath of God that would have otherwise been directed at us because of our. Glory be to God. Are you getting the scripture? Yeah. He say, and he, that same Jesus, is the propitiation for our sins. Jesus, now he's explaining the word propitiation. Because if your English teacher died, then he will not understand what propitiation means. He said, that same Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. The atoning sacrifice that does what? That holds back the wrath of God that would have otherwise been directed at us because of what? So the, at the, the blood of Christ, when, G, when God wants to release his wrath, the blood speaks against the wrath of God. So the wrath that was supposed to be directed to him, it does not get to him because of what? The blood. Are you getting the revelation? Any time the enemy brings an accusation about you before God, the blood speaks on your behalf. 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 Yes. And today I make a prayer over you. Yes. Whatever even that you don't deserve. Yes. By the speaking power of the blood. Yes. By the speaking power of the blood. Yes. May God release it unto you. Amen. May Jehovah release it unto you. By the reason of the blood. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout the blood. The blood. Shout, shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. the blood. If God was to look at you, there is nothing he will give you. But the reason why he gives you everything that you don't even deserve is because of what? The blood. So the blood is an evidence in the court of heaven. Anybody that runs to Christ. His blood speaks for you every day and every time in the courts of heaven. That when something goes wrong and the wrath of God is about to come upon you, the blood speaks on your behalf. The blood speaks on your behalf. The blood speaks on your behalf. Amen. The blood speaks on your behalf. Amen. He said that same Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. The atoning sacrifice that holds back the wrath of God that would have what? That would otherwise be directed at us. See, in the olden days, when you commit a sin, the earth can open and swallow you up. In the olden days, it was instant justice. But because of the blood, come on, put your hands together for the blood. And hear me, hear me, hear me. That is why when we pray, we don't pray in the name of who's. You pray in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus said in John chapter 14, verses 13, he says, and whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, I will do. Why? He will do because of what? Not because of you, because of the name. Are you hearing me? He says, and I will do whatever you ask in now, give me New King James quickly, please. Or King James. Shall we read one go? So when you go to God in prayer, you ask in the name of who? Jesus. You ask in the name of who? You ask in the name of who? And he says, whatever you ask in my name. He, the emphasis there is whatever. Somebody shout whatever. Whatever. Shout whatever. Whatever. The scripture does not limit the things you ask to some things. He it is an open check. He says whatever you ask in my name. Somebody can ask a private jet. Amen. This morning, I declare over you. Yes. Whatever you ask the Father. Yes. I prophesy and declare. Yes. May it be released. Release. May it be released. Release. I said, may it be released. Release. May somebody begin to claim for a new house right now. Amen. May your new house be released. I receive. May your new job be released. I receive. May your promotion be released. I receive. May that prophetic anointing you are desiring for, may it be released. I receive. Everything you are trusting Jehovah God for, yes. I command and declare, yes. it is released right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Whatever you ask, whatever, and whatever is whatever. Lift up your right hand. In the next... 30 seconds, ask for something. Ask for something. In the next 30 seconds, this is a prophetic directive given by Jehovah to us that whatever we ask the Father, in the name of the Son, it shall be done. Come on, ask for something. In the next 30 seconds, ask for something. 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 We claim it. We declare it done in the name of Jesus. See, when you go to God in prayer, don't ask for small things. Yes. Sit down for a minute. He said, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, it shall be done. So the blood speaks. Tell your neighbor, the blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks atonement on your behalf. The blood speaks I mean, I'm, 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 I'm forgiveness on your behalf. The blood literally speaks for you and speaks to counter every wrath that the enemy, when God would have, I beg your pardon, every wrath that God would have that otherwise been released against you because of the things you have done. He looks at the blood of Christ and says, because of what Christ did, the, your sins are eroded. Are you getting me? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's go to the next one. Thank you, gentlemen. Says somebody shall the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Shall he say the blood speaks? The blood speaks. Shall he say the blood speaks? The blood speaks. Shall he say the blood speaks? The blood speaks. Shall he say the blood speaks? The blood speaks. Shall he say the blood speaks? The blood speaks. The blood speaks. The next thing that the blood speaks is that it speaks protection. Somebody shall protection. Protection. Shall protection. Protection. Now you see the night that Jesus died. Um, the night that the children of Israel um crossed over Egypt from Egypt into the promised land, the night that they began their journey, it was called the night of the Passover. So tell your neighbor, say the Passover. Passover. And it was an, a, um, 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 a typology of uh, the Lord's Supper, the night before Jesus was crucified. The night that Jesus was crucified, the Bible says he picked bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body. Eat this in remembrance of me. And he picked wine and lifted it up and said, drink this. He said, this is my blood in the New Testament. Drink this in remembrance of me. The blood that was given to the disciples at the Lord's Supper, at the last night before Jesus was crucified, it was what the God was trying to illustrate to the Israelites before they left Egypt into the promised land. Now, when you read the book of Exodus, the Bible said that the night before they proceeded, um, um, they left um, Egypt, the Bible, God asked each house to take a lamp. Kill a lamp and apply the blood at the adopus. Yesterday I shared that, right? Yes. Those of you that were here yesterday. They were to apply the blood of the lamp at the adopus. Now, hear this and hear this well. Now, each house that applied the blood, there was, the Bible says the angel 
of destruction was going to pass by the house was going to pass by Egypt. Any house that had the blood was preserved. Any house that did not have the blood, judgment was executed against that house. Go to Exodus chapter 12. Guys, let's be fast. Okay? When I speak, you follow me so that we can run faster. Yeah? Yes. Exodus 12. Now, shall we read one? Go. Now, God asked them that each house should apply the blood on their house. And when he says, when he sees the blood, that he will not allow the destruction. Now, put this for me in Amplified, quickly. Put this for me in Amplified. Shall we read one go? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now he said, the blood shall be a sign for you on the doorposts of the houses where you live. Each Israelite was to apply the blood on their doorposts. And when the angel that was striking the people sees the blood, he said he will what? Passover. Tell your neighbor and say Passover. Passover. Shout it and say Passover. Passover. Shout it and say Passover. Passover. Shout it and say Passover. Passover. And that the, red, the, the word Passover is actually in simple terms Passover. When the angel saw the blood, the blood we have understood according to Hebrews chapter 12 that the blood speaks. You remember? In Hebrews 12 that the blood of Jesus what? Speaks better things, isn't it? So the blood that they applied at the adopost was a typology of the blood of the lamb. And so when the angel that was striking the people saw the blood of the Israelites, that blood communicated to the angel that was striking the people that this is the house of a child of God. There was a communication between the blood and the angel that was striking the people. So immediately the angel sees the blood. The blood will speak to the angel and the angel will what? Pass over. So the angel goes to the next house, does not see the blood, enters the house and strikes people in the house. So God says, when I see the blood, I shall pass over and no affliction shall happen to you. Can I pray for you? Yes. By the reason of the blood. Yes. You, you, you have not just applied the blood of a lamp. The blood of Christ is a seal upon your life. Yes. And by the reason of that blood, yes. no affliction shall come over you. When judgment is being executed in Kenya, yes. when evil is passing around, yes. the Lord shall cause that evil to pass over you. Evil shall pass over you. Sickness shall pass over you. Premature death shall pass over you. Poverty shall pass over you. Anything assigned against you. Yes. We decree by the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Yes. May it pass over. Pass May it pass over. 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 In the name of Jesus. Passover means what? Pass over. It will pass you and go to the next person. That's why I always say I cannot die premature. Why? Because I know I have the seal of the blood upon my life. There is no way I can die premature. When premature death is coming, it shall what? Passover. Passover. When poverty is coming to your house, it shall what? Passover. Passover. When strange sicknesses are coming to your house, it shall what? Passover. Passover. Because of the blood. Yeah. The blood speaks over your life. Amen. When evil is coming to you, the blood will communicate to that evil and Passover. say, this is a wrong address. Yes. Back to sender. Back to sender. You didn't get it. Okay. In those days when you write a letter and it comes, it goes to the wrong address. You put the wrong address. They do what? They send it back to what? To send out. If the enemy sends disease to your house, mm. because your address is marked with the blood, yes. when it gets to that address, yes. the enemy will be told, yes. this is the house of David yes. Owusu. Yes. Uh, Back to, to sender. When the enemy sends premature death to your children, yes. because of the blood at the door, yes. the blood will speak to them that that premature
premature death. Yes. And tell that premature death, yes. this is the house of a child of God. Yes. Back to sender. I lift a prayer over you. Yes. yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Evil shall not come to your household. I receive. Poverty shall not come to your household. I receive. Pain shall not come to your household. I receive. Anything assigned against your household. Yes. We declare back to sender. 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 Now I want you to appropriate the power in the blood. Shout by the reason of the power in the blood. By, by the, the reason of, of the power in the blood. Any evil sent to me and my household. Any evil sent to me and my household. Back to sender. Back, Back to, to sender. sender. Because the Bible is assuring us that by the reason of the blood, the destroyer shall not destroy us. Are you getting me? Mm. Yeah, that's what the scripture says. God says, I will not allow the destroyer to touch you because of the fact that there is blood at your door. Amen. Now skip to verse 23. Verse 23. Verse 23. Exodus 12, 23. Exodus 12, 23. Shall we read one go? Who will pass over? The Lord. The Lord will pass through and strike there. Egyptians. And when he, he sees the blood, do you have the blood on you? Yes. Say the blood is on me. The blood is on me. Uh -huh. When he sees the blood, uh huh. Uh huh. Let's all read from that comma. The Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come into your house. Uh -huh. When the Lord sees the blood. The destroyer shall not be allowed. Oh my God. The destroyer shall not be what? Allowed to enter into your house after today. Yes. By the reason of the blood. Yes. Your entire household is preserved. Right. 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 Because of the blood. Can I tell you something? I want you to connect with the revelation that by the reason of the blood, it doesn't matter what happens. You see, other people in Egypt were dying. Their, 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 their animals were dying. The first ones of their animals were dying. But any child of God that had the blood didn't what? Can I tell you something? Yes. By the reason of the fact that you have the blood, yes. it yes. doesn't matter who dies or who doesn't die. Yes. You, you shall not die premature. I your children shall not die premature. I Evil I shall not enter your household. The destroyer shall not come to your house. Yes. By the reason of the blood. Yes. Somebody shall the blood speaks. The, the, blood speaks. the reason is this. When the destroyer is about to enter your house, the blood will speak and say, this is the child of God. You cannot enter. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. May the blood deny the devil access to your house. Deny the devil access to your business. Deny the devil access to your home. If you are here, shout the blood. 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 I receive. The devil is denied access. Somebody shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. You see, the blood is the last card in heaven. When every weapon of war fails, apply the blood. Amen. The Bible says, and they overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. What makes you overcome? Weapons of the enemy is the no. blood. When there is war released against you, you go to in prayer and you appropriate and invoke the blood and the blood will begin to speak on your behalf. Uh. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Has the blood of the lamb been shed? Every one of us has access to that blood. So in prayer, you declare, I invoke the blood over my children. Yes. I invoke the blood over my home. Yes. I invoke the blood over my house. Yes. I decree and declare by yes. the talking of the blood, yes. let my house be preserved. Preserve. Let my home be preserved. Preserve. Let my business be preserved. Preserve. You invoke the, the blood. blood. Amen. See, I told you, I mean, my father was a preacher and there is one thing that he taught me is the blood. Say, I'm telling anybody, say the blood. The blood. He, tell, he always used to tell me, David, anytime you get to a difficult moment, invoke the blood. Because 
in heaven. You see, the last um, miracle that Moses performed for the Israelites to come out of Egypt was the one of what? The blood of the lamb. When they killed the lamb and applied the blood, that was the last miracle. The devil had to allow the Egyptians to go. Amen. When you get to that difficult place where nothing seems to work, yes. invoke the blood. Amen. Because it's the last card in the, in, in the weapons of war, in the spirit. When you invoke the power in the blood, things begin to shift on your behalf. Amen. Say we invoke the blood. We invoke the Shall blood. we invoke the blood? We invoke the Shall blood. we invoke the blood? We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. Let me tell you one thing. You see, in in the Bible says that in 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 in, in the Old Testament, the, the Bible said there shall be no remission of sins without. The Bible said without the shedding of blood, there is no what remission of sins. See, the blood. Um, signifies um, it signifies something like um, 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 an endorsement or an approval for what Christ has done and every drop of blood that came out of Jesus activated a blessing for us did you hear what I said yes you see when you are signing a contract those of you that you sign a contract I mean you sign a contract they say sign this page sign that page sign that page every page has something that is signifies the next page signifies something the next page talks about something about the contract you append your signature everywhere you are required to sign now every place you sign because you appended your signature the contract is now binding are you getting me now, any time Jesus' blood came out of him, it endorsed and, 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 and uh, approved a certain blessing in the spirit for you. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. The blood that Jesus, you know, when Jesus was being crucified, thank you, Holy Spirit, the Bible says that he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. And in the garden of Gethsemane, he began to pray before he, he went to the cross. And he prayed and prayed until blood precipitated through his sweat glands. And he went through what is known as hemohydrolysis. Blood literally precipitated through his sweat glands. And blood came out instead of sweat. Now that blood that came out from his forehead established a certain covenant for you and I. What was it? Now in the book of Genesis, when man sinned, thank you God, the Bible says God cursed man and said by the sweat of your brow you shall eat bread. Ah. God cursed man in the garden of Eden and God said by the sweat of your brow you shall eat bread. So before Jesus went to the cross, Jesus said, before I go to the cross, yes. I need to break this curse. Yes. So he went into prayer. And as he began to pray, yes. blood began to come. Instead ah. of sweat coming, blood was coming out. Ah. The blood was to nullify ah, nah, the nah, curse nah, nah, that was pronounced over man. Ah. So God established a revelation here. Yes. Jesus was saying, it shall no longer be by the sweats for ah. man to eat bread. It shall be by the, the blood. It shall be by the, the blood. blood. By the blood. I enjoy my blessing. By the blood, you shall have your prosperity. Yes. By the blood, you yes. shall buy a car. Arfi. By the blood, Arfi. you shall build a house. Arfi. It shall not be by the sweat Arfi. of your face. Yes. It shall be by the, the blood. blood. Jesus has changed the sweat that we are supposed to sweat with his blood. Are you getting me? Yes. Are you following me? Yes. So no longer, see this thing of, you have to sweat and sweat and sweat before you make it. No. If you can appropriate the blood, yes. if you can invoke the blood, the blood yes. things will begin to shift for you. Yes. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We enforce the talking of the blood yes. and we decree and declare in yes. the name of Jesus yes. by the reason of the blood, 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 yes. Yes. we decree and declare from today, may you prosper. I you shall prosper through the blood. I you shall buy your car through the blood. I you shall build your house through the blood. I you see. shall get your possessions through the, the blood. blood. I receive. So the blood that came out of Jesus' forehead canceled the curse in the garden. God said by your sweat you shall eat bread. Yes. That is why blood needed to come out of Jesus' forehead. Uh. 
Number two, when Jesus was going to the cross, the Bible said they made tongues and thistles. A crown, and they put a crown of tongues and thistles, and they crushed it on his head. Now, you see, tongues and thistles were not supposed to, were not part of the creation of God. Tongues and thistles came as a result of the curse. Are you hearing me? Are you following me? When God said, now let's go to Genesis 2, when God cursed the ground. Now, when God cursed the ground, he said, tongues and thistles shall the earth bring forth. And from there, tongues and thistles started coming out. Not because God actually wanted them to grow, but just because of the fact that it was part of the curse. Genesis chapter 3. Um, oh, sorry, 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 let's go. Give me, give me, give me, give me two. Genesis 2, 9, huh? Let's read one, go. Genesis chapter 3, verse 18. Let's start from verses, verses 15, and then we run down. Genesis 3, quickly, 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 quickly. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the case God plays between man and the snake and the devil. Are you getting me? Yes, verse 9, next verse. Then the next case. In pain you shall bring forth children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He say back, go back. Say both tongues and tassels it shall bring forth for you. So the tongues and tassels that the earth brought forth was because of the curse that God pronounced over the earth. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus was going to the cross, the soldiers made a crown of the things that came out as a result of the curse and put it upon his head. When they put the tongues and tassels on his head and pressed it down, blood began to come out. Mm -hmm. And the blood that came out canceled this curse. Oh. Anytime blood comes up, even the blood of bulls and goats were used to cleanse sins in the olden days. And the blood of Christ was every single whose ounce of blood that came out of him canceled and activated a certain blessing. The blessing that, that the blood that came out of the tongues and tassels canceled the curse of the land. In other words, from now, you shall not struggle to enjoy anything from this land. Amen. By the reason of the blood, yeah. you shall enjoy every blessing that is meant to come out for you. Yes. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive Can it. I declare over you? Yes. yes. See, the Bible says that... Um, 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 if, if, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn away from their wicked ways, then will I what? Heal, hear from heaven and do what? And heal their land. Now, the land there is a spiritual land. Every one of you, when you work, your efforts, any efforts you put towards something, it goes to what we call your spiritual ground. When you are when you are do, working towards a business to set it up, to, to, to get a job or to do what? All those efforts is going to something called your spiritual ground. So when your ground is healed, your what your efforts comes out with results. When your ground is not healed, you, it doesn't matter the effort you put. There is no results that comes out. So when the Lord cares the ground, it was He was not just talking about the physical ground. He was talking about the land, the spiritual ground also, where our efforts go. So when the Lord Jesus crown was put on His head and the tassel signifying the curse was put on His head, He carried the curse of the ground 
both physical ground and spiritual ground. That means that from now, your efforts are meant to yield resource. Amen. Anything you do, it must come out with resource. Yeah, there yeah. are certain people here, you work so hard like an elephant, yeah. but you eat like an ant. Yeah. By the reason of the blood, yes. by the reason of the blood that came out of Jesus' head, yes. I make a prayer for you. Yes. Any case of you over your ground, yes. the case is the case is broken. 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 From today, your effort shall yield results. I said 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 your effort shall yield results. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Shout every curse. Every curse. Shout every curse. Every curse. Every curse. Every curse. That was pronounced over me. That was pronounced over me. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. Now, the curse on the land brought thorns and thistles. And Jesus carried all of them on his head. Are you getting me? Yes. So any curse, anybody curse you on this land, it was carried on the master's head. Amen. The blood that came out of his head yes. nullified every single curse. Mm. So when somebody curses you, you appropriate the power in the blood. Hayamago yes. Shalaba. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any curse pronounced over me. Any curse pronounced by the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. Now, watch me. Am I sweating? What am I using to clean the sweat? The towel. This one, this towel, right? So where has the sweat gone? The sweat has been absorbed by the towel. This, can, 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 is sweat coming out here? No. no. But I'm sweating and I'm cleaning myself with the towel. The sweat has absorbed. The, sorry, the towel has absorbed the sweat. That is what the blood of Jesus did according to the Bible. The Bible says the blood of the lamb, the blood of Christ absorbed every case. Amen. Oh, it's in your Bible. It's just that you don't read it. Give me Galatians chapter 3. Verses 13 to 14. Give me from the message Bible. The Bible said the blood absorbed. Jesus absorbed every case. Galatians 3, 13 to 14 in the message. Shall we read one go? Everybody read it loud and clear. If your neighbor is sleeping, just slap them a little and tell them, wake up and read the Bible. Wake up, wake up and read the Bible. Uh -huh. Let's go. Uh-huh. Shall we read one go? Christ redeemed us by absorbing it completely into him. Sir. Read it again. One go. Christ redeemed us from the self-defeating cursed life by doing that. By absorbing it into himself. I decree and declare. Every curse that was pronounced over yes. you, yes. it has been absorbed by the blood. Uh, it has been absorbed, absorbed, uh, absorbed. Absolutely. If your ex-husband curses you, the curse is absorbed. Absorb. If your ex-wife curses you, the curse is absorbed. Uh, if your ex-boyfriend curses you, the curse is absorbed. Absorb. If your ex-girlfriend curses you, the curse is absorbed. If your former bishop curses you, the curse is absorbed. Uh, yeah. If your former prophet curses you, the curse is absorbed. You see, well, that's why I use the, the towel as an example. When the towel absorbs the sweat, you don't see the sweat anymore. Can I tell you something? Yes. Any curse that was pronounced over you, yes. you shall not see it anymore. I, I see. said you shall not see that curse anymore. I the see. curse is absorbed. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Say Christ has redeemed us from the self-defeating curse like by absorbing it completely into himself. Shall we read? Do you remember the scripture that says, curse is everyone who that is what happened when Christ was nailed to the cross. He became and at the same time dissolved the curse. Christ hey. has dissolved your curse. Amen. 
Oh, I, I wish I came to church. Some of you, you are not spiritual. You don't even yes. understand the word of God. <laughs> Christ <laughs> became the curse and he dissolved the curse. Yes. The curse against your marriage is dissolved. Amen. The curse against your destiny is dissolved. Amen. Any curse that was pronounced over you, it yes. is dissolved. 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 Completely. Amen. It shall not be seen any longer. Amen. I said the case is dissolved. Amen. I said the case is dissolved. Dissolve. 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 Any case that was supposed to pro that was supposed to come upon you. Maybe the case in your family is that nobody gets married. From today, understand because of what Christ did, the case is what? Dissolved. The case is what? Dissolved. Yes, I understand. You did it. That is why the person cursed you. And that is why Christ also came. He said the curse is, is dissolved. dissolved. Number one, he absorbed it into himself and he dissolved it. It shall no longer come upon you any longer. Shout, the curse is dissolved. The curse is dissolved. Shout, the curse is dissolved. The curse is dissolved. After the curse is dissolved, now see the blessing that is going to come upon you. Now read one go. And now, because of that, oh, shall we read? Can we read one go? Uh huh. We are all able to receive God's life, His Spirit, in and with us by believing. Glory be every blessing that Abraham received. Yes. yes. He says it is now present for us also. Amen. In the same way it came upon him. Yes. It is coming upon you. I receive. 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 If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive. Shout, I receive. I receive. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. The curse is broken. Now you are a seed of Abraham. Get ready to prosper. I receive. I said, 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 get ready to prosper. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Let me give you two more points and then we can pray. Now, the blood that came from his back. The Bible said, by his stripes, we were what? We were what? We were what? Jesus took. 39 stripes at his back. Boom. Boom. 39. Now, Josephus, a great Bible scholar, said that hardened criminals could not even take up to three of those stripes because those stripes were not just canes. They were metallic bars that had things like needles. So when they hit you like this, it comes out as they are lifting it. Your flesh pulls out. Are you getting me? So every hit brings out flesh and blood from your skin. And Jesus took 39 of those hard stripes at his back. And prophetically, why 39? Why not 42 or 12 or 13 or something? The reason why they, Jesus took 39 stripes at his back. The Bible says by his, um, by the wounds, he said, but for, but, but he was wounded for our he was bruised for our and the chastisement of our peace was upon and by his stripes we are by what we are healed by his stripes the stripes at his back the blood that came out of it is what activated our healing and why 39 39 because medical science categories all diseases into 39 different categories so every stripes took care of one category Boom, one category was taken care. Boom, the second category. All the 39 categories of diseases were dealt with at his back. That is why the stripes were 39 and not 42. Every single stripes took care of every, of every category of disease. So it doesn't matter the disease that comes against you. Yes. That disease is, was dealt with by Jesus at his back. And by the reason of that, we declare 
May every infirmity in your body, yes, every disease in your body, yes, may it be healed. 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 In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what it is that the enemy has done against you. I declare you are healed. I receive. I like the New Living Translation. Uh, put it for me. Uh, New Living Translation, Isaiah 54. Read it one go. But he was wounded and crushed for our sins. So when he was wounded, the wounds on his body, the blood that came us was dealing with our... Are you getting me? Every single blood that came out of Jesus was dealing with one thing for us. Are you getting the revelation? Every single blood. In fact, when he, the, his, his beard was brought out, blood came out. I don't have time to go into that. The blood that came out of his beard established our honor. You see, in the, the old Jewish custom, your beard signifies your honor. So the Bible said they pulled his beard. And when they pulled his beard, blood came out. That that blood that came out established honor and glory for us. So any one of you that the enemy tries to disgrace yes. by the reason of the blood that came out of his beard, yes. honor shall come back to you. I that is why sometimes when the enemy thinks he's destroying a child of God, disgracing them somehow, it still works to the advantage. Why? Because the blood that came out of Jesus' beard it was establishing a cut and cutting a covenant to bring honor to God's people. I lift a prayer over you. Yes. Yes. By the blood that came out of his beard. Yes. Ah, may honor come back to you. I may see. honor come back to you. I may see. honor come back to you. I In see. the name of okay. Jesus. Let's read the scripture on the screen. One go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He was whipped and we were healed. So his whipping brought us our healing. So every single ounce of blood that came out of Jesus' body established a certain blessing for us. Are you getting the revelation now? Yes. Are you getting where we are going? Y yes. Now let sir. me give you just one last thing and then we can go. Let's go to the scripture. Um, Romans 5. Romans 5. You see, before, let me say this, I, I will not get into it. Before, before Jesus died, the Bible said the Roman soldiers pierced his side. How many of you know that? They pierced his side. And scripture says blood and water came out. Blood and what? Water. Blood and what? Blood. blood and water came out. The blood that came out of his side cut a blessing, established a blessing for you and I. You see, the blood that came out of his side, it was through that blood that salvation came. See, through that blood, every one of us received a new life. Through that blood, that is how we are called, we were born again. Somebody say born again. Born again. I'm going to bring it home. Say born again. Born again. Now shout it. Say born again. Born again. Shout it. Say born again. Born again. Can I explain something to you? Yes. Doctor. You see, when you, when a woman goes into labor, and the woman is about to deliver, what comes out what? Water. Water. The water breaks out, and later when the child is coming out, the, you see what? Blood. In the same way, when Jesus was giving birth to the church, hey, water hey, came hey, out hey, from his hey, side, hey, hey, hey. and blood came out from his side. Yes. So the, when they pierced his side, that was what signified that he was dead. They pierced his side to signify that Christ was dead. Mm. Immediately they pierced his side, blood. Now the Bible said, but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. And blood and water what came out. Now the blood, the water that comes came out, and blood that came out signifies that the church of God was being born. Amen. Because when a child is being born, water comes out and blood comes out. You see, when the, the Bible says, through by the first Adam, all men became sinners, and by the last Adam, righteousness, righteousness was also made available to all men. How did the first, how did, I mean, how did, was um, um, the first, the second human being created? 
from the side of Adam. The Bible said God made Adam sleep and he took a rib from his side and created Eve. So when the second Adam also was hanging on the cross and God also wanted to create new people, mm. he had to cut his side. Hey. The same place. Yes. That the, oh my God. I hey, wish hey, I hey, had hey, people hey. that uh. understand Revelation. Are you getting something here? Yes. Are you getting something here? Yes. yes. The same side that Eve came out yes. is the same side that we all came, came out. out. The same side that Eve came out and through Eve sin came. The same side that we came out and salvation came. I came to declare unto you, yes. you are too far away from hell. Yes. You are too far away from hell. You were born out of the side yes. through blood and water. And I declare over you in the name of Jesus. Yes. By the reason of the blood that was shed on the cross, yes. Yes. your salvation is secure. 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 If you are here, shout, I receive it. I, I receive it. You were not just born. You were born from the side. Oh, when he pierced his side, you came out. I came out. Elizabeth came out. Colin came out. Wycliffe came out. Lanya came out. When he pierced his side, all of us came out. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. We came out from his side. We came out we from, came from his side. side. Yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. Now let's go. Let's go. Let me cry. Let's try and round up. Give me John. Shall we be upstanding? Let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding so that I don't continue preaching. Let's everyone let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. Romans 5. Romans 5. Shall we read one go? Mm -hmm. He said, therefore, go back. Therefore, having been justified by, we have what? We have peace with God through who? Our Lord Jesus Our Christ. peace comes through who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. By the blood. From today, may the peace of God begin to be established over your life. Uh, may you not be overwhelmed by any situation. I receive. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding begin to come upon your life. Yeah. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. He said, therefore, we are justified by faith and we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Next verse. Uh -huh. Through whom we also have what? We also have what? Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By the, the reason, reason of, of the blood. blood. I have divine access. I have divine access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. One day I was I was I was asked to go see a certain CS and then um see the, my guy told me when you go mention your name, say you are prophet David Owusu, you are coming to see. So me I went. I didn't have any appointment. So when I got there, I talked nicely. Uh, my name is David to the receptionist. Um, I've come to see the CS. Says the lady goes through the paper and says, I've checked. You don't have any appointment here. So please go and f I mean plan and get an appointment so that you can be able to see the boss. So I went back. I called my guy. Me, they said they, I don't have appointment, so they will not says, Did you mention your name? I said, Yes. He said, What? He says, No, no, mention your full name. So I went back. The woman said, Sir, I said there is no appointment. You don't have an appointment. I said, my name is David Owusu. He said, my name is Prophet. He said, David. He said, oh, sir. Sir, we are sorry. The boss is waiting for you. Now, by mentioning my name, the same time they said there is no appointment, they got, they got me what? An appointment. Can I pray for you? Yes. By the reason of the name of Jesus. Yes. May you have access. I receive. Oh, oh, oh. I said, may you have access. I receive. Divine access. I receive. To every place you desire. Yes. yes. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Now we are going to pray through the 
things, about the six or seven points we have, have declared here, and we are going to declare them and enforce them and invoke the blood upon our lives, and then we shall be able to go home. Are you ready? Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I, I decree and declare. declare. I am preserved. I am preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. My family is preserved. My family is preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. My children are preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I am preserved. I am preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. My children are preserved. My children are preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. My household are preserved. My household are preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. We are protected from all evil. We are protected from all by evil. the reason of the blood. By, by the reason, reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. The destroyer shall not assess my house. The destroyer shall not assess my house. The destroyer shall not assess my business. The destroyer shall not assess my home. The destroyer shall not assess my home. The destroyer shall not assess my home. As I lift up my voice in prayer. As I lift up my voice in prayer. We decree and declare. We decree and declare. Let every assignment of the enemy. Let every assignment of the enemy. Projected against our lives. Projected against. Go back to sender. Go back to sender. We invoke the blood. 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 Come on, lift up your voice. Rata Rata da da ba ko sha. Rata da ba sha. Rata da ya da ba ka da ba da. Rata da da ba sha. Shalalele. Rata da da ba ko sha. Rata da 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 ba ko ya. Rata da 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 ba ka. Rata da ya ka to da 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 ba sha. Rata da 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 ba ko.
hear me, hear me. You see, when we say invoke the blood against the destroyer, my friend, it is not a joke. Exodus chapter 12, verses 24, 23. When you read from the Amplified, the Lord said, because of the blood, he will stop the destroyer. It says, and second part it says, the Lord will pass over you and will not allow the destroyer to come into your houses. You see, the destroyer here was an angel that was killing people. The destroyer in the modern day situation, in this our contemporary situation, the destroyer is somebody you work in the office who want to make sure you are fired. Who want to make sure you lose your job. The destroyer is someone that wants to do everything in their capacity to destroy your ministry. Yes. The destroyer is somebody who is speaking ill against the little business you have. Yes. They think you have arrived. And so you are priding yourself over them. So they want to do everything so that you lose what you have. Ladies and gentlemen, the destroyers are available everywhere. But you are invoking the blood against every destroyer. Yes. Yes. Anybody seeking for your downfall, yes. wishing your evil, yes. wishing you to suffer, yes. wishing you to go down. Yes. Anyone having secret meetings yes. in yes. secret offices yes. against your life. Yes. Let the sword of God yes. begin to be released against yes. them. Yes. Come on, lift up your voice. <laughs> I'm 
Guess. Yes. He will come for you. Amen. And not because you deserve it, because the blood spoke uh -huh. for your life. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me. A limitation to block you and your blessing. He says no war he will not kick down to come for you. And when they lie against you, yeah. say things about you, yeah. things you have not done, yeah. things to sabotage your name, yes. to bring down your reputation. Yes. He will tear down that lie Amen. and come for you. Yes. Come on. No shadow you won't lie. Yeah. Mountain you won't climb. Yeah. No more you 
you. I receive. I said the blood will speak for you. I receive. It doesn't matter how hard it gets, the blood will speak, speak for, for me. Have you been there when the enemy puts you in a certain darkness? You don't even know how you are going to come out. Yes. But he will light up that shadow and come for you. He will climb every mountain and come for you. He will tear down every lie and yes. come for you. Yes. He will kick down every wall and yes. come for you. Yes. He will come for you. He will come for you. Amen. He will come for you. Amen. You are lifting up the next prayer. Yes. You are declaring over your life. Yes. That may the reason by the reason of the blood. Yes. May you have divine access. Divine Somebody access. shout divine access. Divine access. Shout divine access. Divine access. Shout divine access. Divine access. Anything you want to you want to get, you want to assess, any place you want to assess. See, in my mind, there is nothing like impossible. Once I set my heart to do something, yes. it happens. And because that is how I am conditioned, once I can imagine it in my mind that this thing is possible, it is possible. And I want you to have that mentality today that by the blood, you shall assess any place you desire to go. Any level, any dimension. You see, the blood word of the enemy. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. The blood does what? Okay, can I get six people? It's word, word of. It's English. What? Okay, don't worry. The blood stops the enemy. Let me bring it home. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Now, three people line up here. Three people. It make like, um, yeah, good. Good. Now, another three stand here. Like, face these ones. Can I get um, um, those um, um, short? Give me, give me. Quickly, quickly. Yes. This is for church, yeah? Or it's for you? church, yes. If it was for you, we, we have to pray over it because you might never know. Now, somebody shout the blood. blood. Shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. Now, can you spread yourself a bit? Space yourself a bit. Yeah, thank you. Now, let's assume this is the enemy's camp. And can I get somebody at the end holding some money or something? Yes. Hold this money. You are holding it. Yes, just hold it. Now, I want to assess that. Are you getting me? Yes. And you are here. And there are enemies all around. When you are, if you have the blood, if, let's assume I don't have the blood. Now, this enemy, if, as I go, you try to catch me. As I'm trying to assess it, they will stop me. Even if I try, they are still going to what? stop me. I cannot even go an inch. Why? Because the enemy is standing on the way. Mm. But the Bible says, and they overcame the devil. Once I have the blood of the lamb, and I am assessing it, when they see the blood, they fall off. When they see the blood, yes. they fall off. When they see the blood, yes. they fall off. When they see the blood, they fall off. Why? Because the Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. So the blood gives you access to victory. So before the enemy realizes yes. the blessing that I have targeted, yes. I am able to receive it. Why? Because I am walking by the talking of the blood. Amen. Today I declare over your life. Yes. Any place you desire to access. Yes. The Bible says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb as the blood was shed over 2024 years ago yes. a day like this yes. we appropriate the blood yes. we appropriate the blood yes. we appropriate the blood yes. we invoke the blood over yes. your life yes. by the blood you shall get there by the blood you shall get to the top by the blood you shall advance by the blood you shall advance in the level you desire to get to yes. we invoke the blood 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 yes. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. Yes. yes. To the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood. 
that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power oh it reaches Imagine a certain end you want to get to and declare by the blood you are getting there. Amen. It doesn't matter the opposition. The Bible said they overcame him by the blood. Yes. You shall overcome every opposition on your way by the blood. Amen. Are you hearing me shout in the name of Jesus? In the name of by Jesus. The blood, by the blood. By the blood. I assess, I assess my possessions. My possessions. By the blood. By the blood. I ascend to the highest level. To the highest by level. The by, the by the blood. By the blood. By the blood. I assess, I assess my possessions. My possessions. As I lift up my voice in prayer. As I, lift up my I assess my possessions. By the blood. Come on, lift up your voice. Yes. 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 Yes.
We assess, 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 we you assess, we 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 now we are, asse- we are about to assess the spirit. Somebody say, assess the spirit. Assess, assess the, spirit. the spirit. From now, your eyes will open in the spirit. Amen. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, I wish I came to church. Your ears will hear in the spirit. I, I receive it. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. You shall have prophetic insight. I receive Prophetic insight. I receive it. Prophetic insight. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive Prophetic insight. I receive. You shall see by the reason of the blood. I receive. You will hear by the reason of the blood. I receive. Your marriage shall come by the reason of the blood. I receive. Your the deliverance of your children shall come by the reason of the blood. I receive. Your household shall be delivered by I the blood. We assess deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let my God you are going to assess jobs by the blood. I receive. Within the next three months, get ready for uncommon doors. I receive. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No one thought it could happen unto you. Yes. God is going to make it happen. I receive. Say, I assess the spirit realm. I assess the spirit realm. By the blood. By the blood. Are you ready to assess? the spirit yes. yes your spiritual senses are going to be activated i receive your it. spiritual senses are going to be activated i receive you it. shall see in the spirit i receive you it. shall hear in the spirit i receive shout by the blood 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 access the spirit my eyes are opening my eyes are my ears are opening my ears are opening my spirit is perceiving my spirit by the reason of the blood by the reason of the blood your voice access the spirit Let's 
you need to assess. Yes. I declare from today you shall begin to assess. I receive it. You shall begin to assess. I assess. You shall begin to assess. I assess. You shall begin to assess. I assess. Any business that needs to open unto you. Yes. It is opening. 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 In the name of Jesus. I will never be the same. I'm touch your voice.
Jesus and we are out of here. Take in one and then two more. The Bible says the blood that came out of we, scripture makes us understand that that blood did what? It crushed the curse of struggle and poverty. God cursed man and said, by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread. So when Jesus was going to the cross, he also made sure his blood came out instead of sweat to counter and nullify that curse. Life should not be that difficult. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You can assess any amount of wealth you want to assess. You are going to get it by the blood. Somebody say the blood. The blood. Shout it, say the blood. The blood. See the way we pray here like madmen. It cannot be, you know, I mean, who was I speaking to this week? And the person told me, yeah, uh, uh, a pastor came to see me and uh, this week, uh, was, it, was it this morning or yesterday morning? He said to me, I admire the way you pray do you do it? Every morning you are praying. And he says, there is no way you cannot have results. The way you pray, if, if you were not getting results, that, that means something was wrong. The way we pray like mad men, God will bless us. Amen. Oh, I'm telling you. No, Amen. the Bible says God is not unjust yes. to forget yes. your labor. Yes. So the way we are laboring here, Sometimes you sleep two hours, six, you are here, five, seven a.m. You are here. We are here to pray. And you think God will just allow us to go like that? No. He will bless us. I Amen. can assure you. Amen. We shall be tremendously and dangerously blessed. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, we shall be dangerously blessed. We shall, shall be dangerously, dangerously blessed. blessed. You see, your sacrifice to come here to even wait on God, it is something that attracts the hand of God into your life. Amen. Because you could have been sleeping on your bed. But you sacrifice to be here. Heaven shall bless you. Amen. I Amen. said, God shall make a way for you. Amen. Amen. Now you are going to assess things by the blood. Amen. You are going to assess jobs by the blood. Amen. Businesses by the blood. Amen. The blood. What your money cannot buy, let the blood speak for you. The blood speak. Are you hearing me? Yes. I said, let the blood what? Speak, speak for, for me. You. I was. I saw one day. I saw. I mean, this watch. I saw it online somewhere. And it looked nice. And it was very expensive. And I said, oh, it's because I'm addicted to watches. So I wish I would get this one. And I said, my money does not buy expensive things like that. My money has a lot of responsibilities. So I said, by the blood, I claim it. Hear me. I traveled. By the time I came back, someone had bought exactly the same watch I saw online. Wow. With the certificate and sent to my house. Nice Rolex watch. Inchy. Hear me. If I tell you the price, you will hit your head on the wall. <laughs> I saw it all and I said, wow, this is a nice one. I want it. I said, by the blood I get it. It was sent packaged with certificate. I prophesy over your life. Yes. From now, yes. it shall not be by your effort. Yes. yes. It shall be by the blood. I, by the blood. I said it shall be by the blood. blood. Let receive. the blood begin to speak for you. I, I receive it. it. I said let the blood begin to speak for you. I, I receive. receive. Let the blood begin to speak for you. I, I receive. receive. Let the blood begin to speak for you. I, I receive. receive it. If you are here, shout I receive it. I, I receive it. it. Move the camera from my watch. The camera guy. Hey. <laughs> he was zooming the camera because I could see it here. Zooming the camera to the watch. <laughs> Lift your hands up. Shout by the in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By, by the, the reason, reason of the blood. blood. I assess. I assess. The wealth of God. The wealth of God. The prosperity of God. The prosperity of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Let it be. Let it be. Let there be a release. Let there be a release. 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 In the name of Jesus. May everything that 
you desire. Yes. yes. May Jehovah God release it unto you. I, I receive. I said, may Jehovah God release it unto you. I receive. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. You are covenant keeping God. Hold on, Mary. Now we are going to pray. We take the two prayers and we can worship. Are you ready? Yes. Now, I want you to imagine any money you desire to have any job you desire to have any business you desire to have it is coming to you you are assessing it by the blood I access. you are assessing it by the blood I access. you are assessing it by the blood I access. you are assessing it by the blood I access. shout in the name of Jesus by the reason of the blood I assess, I assess. My, blessings. my blessings I possess, I possess. my possessions my possess. come on lift up your voice for many years but today say yes the lord is yes. your season yes of elevation yes, yes. take it yes take it yes take it yes take it yes take it 
Yes. Any curse pronounced over your destiny. Yes. Over your life. Yes. Over your marriage life. Yes. Over your blessing. Yes. Break. 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 In the realm of the spirit, some see some years ago, someone pronounced a curse over her family and mentioned her name. But say yes, the Lord, today that curse is broken. Amen. For forces that affect marriages in your family, today that curse is broken. Broken. It's 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 broken. Cash loose. From Ranga, so I will say Uka. Uka, raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Now, come here. So let me gazu that by in the realm of the spirit, in the conspiracy, yes, against your life. Yes, did you, did you, how close were you to that person? We're friends. Lift your hands. Okay, let me... Everybody raise your hands. Focus on your prayer. Don't focus on somebody's story. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Kado Shabaya. Now you are praying. There are some things that are for private consumption. There are some things that are for public consumption. You are lifting up a prayer for yourself. You are declaring by the blood. And the blood. May you possess your possessions. May I possess my possessions. Come on, lift up your voice right now. Up lift up your voice right now. against the work of my heart. Every curse, every curse pronounced against me. Pronounced against me. I declare. I declare. Break. Break. This is what I mean. Sometimes somebody will look at you. You are deciding a position. They say, oh, this one, she can never become this. 
Oh, this one, she will never get this. Oh, this one, she can never get there. It is a curse. Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Any curse pronounced. Any curse pronounced. Over my life, over my life, I declare, I declare, by the blood, by the blood, the curse is broken, the curse is broken, 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 Three from Pastor Dennis. One, two, three, four, five. Raise your hand. At the back. Yes. Raise your hand. Yes. It's a question I'm asking. Do you know anybody called Femi? Who? Your son. Thank you, Holy. You say I believe. You say. goes on to say that the father is possibly a Nigerian. Wonderful. Where is he? China. He's in China. Yeah. Wonderful. Are you guys together? No. No. You want to be together? No. no. <laughs> wow. No. So you want a new person? <laughs> yes. yes. Lift your hands up. Who is Emma? Emma is your sister. Your younger sister. Who is Carol? Your follower. And you are Marion. Marion, Carol, and Emma. You say I believe you say Yes. That assignment is aborted. Aborted. Any altar 
that has your picture. Yes. Your dress, yes. your your shirts, yes. your trousers, anything that belongs to you. Yes. We decree, let that altar catch fire. Catch fire. Let that altar catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. Certain altars in your family is going to be broken right now. Amen. Lift it up for me. Lift it up for me. Kadabajalabaya. Jabaya. Deliverance is coming for you. Yes. Deliverance is coming for you. Yes. Touch it. In the Touch, name it. Of Jesus. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. In the name of Touch Jesus. It. In the name of Jesus. Under fight marriages. Yes. yes. In your family. Yes. Today, let it break. In the name let of it Jesus. Break. Break. Let it break. break. Let it break. 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 Let it 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 break. Break. In the name of Jesus. In the name I declare a new beginning. 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 Get me water. Shala Brazabada. Shala Badabada. By the reason of the blood. Yes. I declare you are set free. Yes. You are set free. Set free. You are set free. Set 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 set free. free. Set set free. free. Break. In the name of Jesus. I see three chains breaking. Amen. 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 Hello, Bo Shabbat. Madam, God is setting your family free. Amen. Amen. Now, your younger sister was called what? Emma. Emma, yeah? Is she married? She's not. Let me give you, let me give you a history. As a prop, this is what I'm saying. She's the first born. Her marriage is broken. Second born, husband dies. Third born, no marriage. And you think it is natural. It is not natural. In a satanic altar. Yes. That speaks against your destiny. Yes. yes. Today by the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I decree and declare. Yes. yes. Catch fire. Catch fire. 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 Where did you go to school? Where did you go to school? Did you go to, you know, in Boni? Huh? You went to school there. Come here. And all the other names fade away. Oh, and all the other names fade away. See you there. We overturn. 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 Break. But 
I prophetically declare. Because the person took it. I don't know where the school is, but I is it in Kambani? Yes, because I see that wherever that thing was taken was on Cumberland. But prophetically we declare yes. whatever was done in the spirit. Yes. Against her, we overturn. Overturn. We overturn. Overturn. We overturn. Overturn. I hear Poland. Poland. No Poland. Who here desires to go to Poland? Come here. You desire because I just heard pray. Poland. Come here. Come quickly. Show them better, better, better. Where do you come from, sir? Homabe. Homabe, which is they are not powerful. They only speak big English. So you don't have much to worry about. Come forward, let me pray for you. Any favor that needs to be activated for you, I prophetically declare, Yes. let it be activated. Activated. In the name of Jesus. Sir, have you traveled abroad before? No. Has anybody in your family gone abroad before? No. no. You must go home and break an altar. Otherwise, the altar and the barrier that they have said is that nobody should travel beyond this nation. But we shall be the first to break that altar. Amen. Amen. You shall work abroad and succeed. Amen. Amen. There was a guy in Harvest. He was called Ken. When I went to their church, I called him and I said, God is going to make you a millionaire. You're going to get a six-digit figure. And uh, people started laughing at him. Are ah, you? You cannot make it. Are ah, you? Yeah. When the testimony happened, he literally screenshot his salary and put it on Facebook and tagged me and made everybody know that he now earns a six digit salary. Say the prophet spoke it and it has happened. Amen. And I make a prayer yes. over you. Yes. Every declaration that is made over your head. Yes. It shall manifest. Manifest. Any altar that want to stop you, sir. Yes. I decree and declare. Yes. That altar is broken. Broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hold on. You will go back to your village, yeah, and declare or get soil from there, let somebody pray, and declare over the land. Any altar from this place shall not stop. Amen. Hey, somebody shout, I shall not be stopped. I shall, I shall not, not be stopped. stopped. Shouted, I shall not be stopped. I shall not be stopped. Shouted, I shall not be stopped. I shall, I shall not, not be stopped. stopped. How soon do you want to go? As soon as possible. I decree prophetically. When are you going for visa? Which month? Today? Yeah, Saturday. Today, mm -hmm. at around 11 mm -hmm. 30 mm -hmm. in the night. So when they even go there, you will see. They will, see you, they will send you something for you to go for the visa. Yes. Lift your hands. So you are going to work there. You already have a job. Lift. Huh? You already have a work permit. Yes. So you are just going there to get old. Wow. Somebody wow. put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> According to your knowledge and your will for me, what do you say you have done? I just need to ask. I know. Because. Changes your mind, 
We overturn in the name of Jesus. Stella, hear me. Raise your hands up, mother. Raise your hands up. We prophetically declare yes. anything that was stolen yes. from your daughter. Yes. We decree. Yes. Anything that was used as a token to temper with her education, yes, we decree, yes. it is overturned. Overturned. It's overturned. Overturned. It's overturned. Overturned. It's overturned. Overturned. In the name of Jesus. When is she coming home? Fifth. Okay. Next Friday. Next Friday. Is next Friday fifth? Next Friday is fifth. There is Kesha. Tell anybody there is Kesha. There is Kesha. Yeah. So bring her. Lie. Sir, there's a gentleman at the back. Yes, you. No, no, no. Yes, come here. You do not lie. Anything that was done against you, we reverse it. Reverse. May Jehovah God reinstate you yes. into your original position. Yes. What belongs to you, we claim it and take it back for you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Can I pray for you, sir? The Lord is telling me, I should declare unto you, he's going to restore you. Amen. Any door that needs to open for you, for your joy to be free, yes. I declare that door is opening. Open. Where do you come from? As the oil touches your head, yes. every yoke yes. that holds your destiny, yes. it is broken. Broken. 
for the sake of here, God will honor you. Amen. Because I see you have been turned down and turned down and turned down like great height. I get what I'm saying? Yes. Like turned down. Mega opportunities, job opportunities turned down. Yes. But the Lord is ministering to me yes. that he shall honor you. Amen. Amen. The next thing that shall come your way shall not be a refusal or a denier or a rejection. Amen. Amen. It shall be a celebration. Amen. Amen. You know, you, you are supposed to be international. You are supposed to be operating on international levels. But your destiny was switched. But today, by the reason of the blood, yes, we reinstate it. Yes. We reinstate you. Yes. Yes. See, when you read the book of Kings chapter 3, the Bible says, two halos gave birth. One slept on her baby and woke up and switched her dead baby. Or someone else's living baby. So if the other one didn't fight, she would have lived forever with a dead baby that does not belong to her. If you are not careful in this life, somebody will use you for ice cream. Switch you. There's a man, you see the lady, the testimony the lady gave that her brother with engineering qualification was working as a hawker. Imagine a, someone qualified engineer working as a hawker. If, can you imagine? In the streets. If the guy didn't come, they did not bring the, the family here for prayer. Possibly the guy would have seen be working as a hawker. Anything that has been done to switch your destiny. Yes. We declare we overturn it. Overturn. God is going to favor you internationally. Amen. Can I tell you something? People that mock you will look at you in the next few years and they will wonder whether you are still the one. Because God will completely turn your life around. And when God blesses you, remember me. Do you hear what I said? Because God is going to bless you. In fact, even the last job you did that was turned down was an international job. Isn't it? Huh? From which country? Uh -huh. to, to which job? To which country? Which country job was that? America. Lift your hands up. Which country do you desire to go? United States. Lift your hands. Father, we declare. Yes. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost, yes. we activate favor yes. upon the life of your man servant. In the name of Jesus. Any favor that needs to come upon his life, yes. every rejection, we cancel it. We, cancel. we decree and declare uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. Access by the blood. Yes. Access by the blood. 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 In the name of Jesus. I see you holding money. People here see money coming to you. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Money. Money. Raise your hand. Why? What is it? What is it? Huh? It's the man says, this one. Money. You all want money? Yeah. Money. Okay, everybody raise your hand there. May financial help come to you. I receive. I said financial help come to you. I receive. Financial help come to you. I receive. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Bring your hands. Close them together. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Let Jehovah God remember you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The door is open. Sit down. It is done. See, you know, it does not take God 50 years to bless you. Yeah. It less than a microsecond, He can bless you. Just one little door like this. God can use it to change your life. Imagine a hawker now, an engineer. 
a village girl in Karatina now sitting in an office. Hey, hey. God can change the life of a man. Hey, Amen. May Jehovah God change your life. I receive. I said, may Jehovah God change your life. I receive. I said, may Jehovah God change your life. I receive. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Now, take a sacrifice and lift it up. Find a seat and lift it up. Any seat you find, find a seat and lift it up. 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 Find a seat. Lift it. Say, by my seed, I activate uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By this seed, O Lord. By this seed, O Lord. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Financial help is coming to me. Financial help is coming. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. My helper shall remember me. My helper shall remember me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Connect to the altar if you can. Connect to the altar. I have Jesus in my life. Living for his glory, I'm on fire every day. Nothing can stop me, doesn't matter what I face. I am getting bigger every day, every day. I have Jesus in my life. Living for his glory, I'm on fire every day. Nothing can stop me, doesn't matter what I face. So nothing can stop us so they cannot stand us so they cannot stand us so we on fire we on fire we on fire oh. up and forward oh. up and forward oh. we on fire oh. we on fire oh. nothing can stop us so nothing can stop us so they cannot stand us so they cannot stand us so we on fire we on fire Upward and forward, oh. Upward and forward, oh. We on fire, oh. We on fire, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. We on fire, we on fire, we on fire. Upward and forward, oh. Upward and forward, oh. We on fire, oh. We on fire, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. We on fire. So they can't stand us so they can't stand us so we on fire we on fire we on fire oh. nothing can stop us no no say no nothing can stop us say nothing can stop us nothing can stop us where we are going we cannot be stopped no 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 we are like an ambulance when we see the yellow light, we will pass. When we see the green light, we will pass. Even when we see the red light, we will pass. Why? Because as an ambulance, you carry an emergency. There is something inside you. And because of what you are carrying, 
Upward and forward, oh. Upward and forward, oh. We on fire, oh. We on fire, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. We on fire. Upward and forward, oh. Upward and forward, oh. We on fire, oh. We on fire, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. Nothing can stop us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. They cannot stand us, oh. We on fire. We on fire. We on fire. It's okay. We need to go home. Are you blessed you came to church? I said, are you blessed you came to church? Yes. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. I think the conference has been good. I said the conference has been good, isn't it? Has it not been good? It's been powerful. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. So our next conference is from the 28th of April to the 5th of May. 28th of April is called Word Fest. Say your name Word Fest. Word Fest. We're going to have an apologetic um, Dr. Wilfred Arthur, a dangerous man on the word. He's going to be here from Ghana. We're going to have another prophet from the UK. They are all my friends. They're going to be here. It's going to be dangerous. Tell anybody it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be dangerous. The prophet, he carries, he's, he's very big. So he comes yes. with a lot of anointing. I'm telling you. And, and, and he preaches well and he undertakes prophetic actions. I'm telling you. This, this by the end of April to, 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 to May, something shall shift in your life. Amen. So block that week, 28th of April to the 5th of May. Make sure you stop everything and prepare your heart for the Word Fest. Amen. 
Amen. And your life and my life shall never ever be Amen. the same again. again. Now tomorrow um, we are going to have uh, men's fellowship. The meeting is supposed to be what time? No, it's supposed to be from one. Tell your neighbor, say one. one. All men, the meeting starts at 1 p.m. Tell your neighbor, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. So it was supposed to be at 2, but we are coming here at 1. Because I'm supposed to also preach at um, Royal Booth. So I need to finish this meeting and go to Royal Booth. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Yes. Yeah, so we need to be here at 1 so that um, we can be we can be done quickly and then I can be able to go to Royal Booth and be able to minister there. Amen? Amen. Are you blessed you came to the house of God? Yes. Sir. Please, Saturday, those of you that are, you are around Royal Booth, it's on Go Road. We are all meeting there. Let's go and support them. I mean, they are my sons. The pastor is my son and the wife is my daughter. I've worked with them for the past 10 years. Amen? Yes. I always tell you, I value relationships. You get me? Anybody who has worked with me for long, succeeds. Hallelujah. So you succeed. There is Amen. no one I have known for many years whose life is still the same. It's not possible. So you will succeed. Tell your neighbor you will succeed. So we are 2 p.m. This time is 2. What time is it? 3 or 2? 4. The 3. Yeah, 3 at Royal Booth. So if you are not a man, if you are a man, you are here. But if you are not a man, all the ladies, we are all going to where? Royal Booth open spaces on Gold Road. The hotel is which hotel? Marsh Park. Marsh Park Hotel. So I'll be preaching there. On your way to Jam Jamuhuri. Yes. yes. I was there, I mean, yesterday it was powerful. It was dangerous. So let's, let's all meet there. Amen? Amen. Come there. Don't tell me you went for Kesha. We all came for Kesha. I'm preaching in the afternoon where the men and go and preach again. So make sure you find yourself there. Amen? And Amen. then Sunday we finish this conference and the Lord God will bless us. Are you blessed you came to church? Is there anyone fellowshipping with us for the very first time? Any first time I hear? Let's see you by the raising of your hand. Any first time? Come on, let's appreciate our first timers. Come on, appreciate the first timers. Wonderful. Yes. After first, after service, please sit right here on my left hand side. We're going to have a word with you shortly before you go home. So don't be in a rush to go home. So please just wait behind. Sit here on the seats of my left hand side and the Lord God will bless you. Amen. Amen. So please don't be in a rush to don't be in a rush to there's a lady who has like, is it, they call it ponytail, like something at audio. Come here. You have, you have tied your hair like this. Witchcraft is against you. Come, come. You are, you are hair like this. Anybody projecting witchcraft against you, we command, let it backfire. Backfire. I was just closing, but I just need to do this. Come here. Kneel down here. Kneel down here. Father, we declare. Stretch off your hands, also. Pray for her like you pray for your own sister. Any witchcraft manipulation, anybody projecting evil against you, we declare back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Anything they will do against you and against the work of your hands. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost, yes. we decree and declare, yes. let that agenda backfire, 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 backfire. Can I tell you something? Anybody that tries you, they are the ones that are going to suffer. Amen. This is what you will do. Where do you come from? Kambani. Where in Kambani? Makweni. Someone has threatened you. Where is the person from? So it's also from Kamani. Do you know where the, he comes from? Where? No. Where is his village in Kamani? You don't know. You know. Kilongo. Now, this is what you do. You go to that place, take soil from the land, and declare. Let's say he's Nehemiah. You mention his name and declare whatever it is that this man wants to do against me. He has threatened he's going to take you to which doctor? Huh? 
He's going to send you evil spirits. Don't worry. We will send him evil spirits. Yeah. Hey, Lift hey, your hands hey. I am on fire. Upward and forward, oh. Upward and forward, oh. We are on fire, oh. I decree and We are on fire, oh. In this satanic projection against you. Yes. What is his name? Richard what? Okay. Wherever he is, any satanic projection he has yes. released against you, yes. we decree back to sender. 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 You are covered by the blood. Yeah. Nothing shall happen to you. Go. We on fire. Oh. We on fire. Oh. Nothing can stop us. Oh. Nothing can stop us. Oh. They cannot stand us. Oh. We on now, next week is Kesha. Tell your neighbor, next week is Kesha. Next week is Kesha. Say, next week is Kesha. Next week is Kesha. Now, next week is, is going to be my birthday, Kesha. So, you cannot afford to miss it. Fourth is my birthday, by the grace of God. Now, on the seventh, we'll be having a birthday celebration on the Sunday, the seventh of April. Tell your neighbor, seventh of April. April. Yes, yeah, so we'll all find something white, a touch of white. Say, touch of white. Both first service and second service. Amen? Yes, so we are going to celebrate it in a grand style. In fact, for the past 12 years, all my birthdays, I celebrate it in Kenya. Yeah. Except in 2020 during COVID. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I need to buy for government. <laughs> Hear me? So... All my birthdays around this, my birthday act, for the past 12 years, I'm always in Kenya. Something supernatural must shift. Amen? Yes. And like I told you, those who want to come for that party, that one is to be done end of April. Register with James. When you talk to James, James will tell you the requirements for the party. See you? Yeah. It's not like you just come. Yes. No. We don't want crowd. Are you getting me? If you want to come talk to James, James will give you the requirements of the part, and then you can appear there when the day is up. Otherwise, don't worry, seventh, make sure you party here. And you party all the party you can party. And the Lord will bless you. Let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. At least you understand where it's going. Are you understanding where it's going? Yes. Yes, it is well, yes. You must prepare your heart. I mean, we have decided to sep I mean, separate it. VVIP tickets, VIP tickets. VVIP ticket is high. VIP ticket is equally high. So, it's in the tickets are only 30 tickets for that party. Only 30. So, if you can talk to James nicely, he will tell you the requirements for the tickets. And then you can show up. You dress nicely like you are going to a presidential luncheon. Are you getting me? Yes. And the Lord, because you meet him great people. Say anybody, you meet great people. Yes, you meet great people, nice people. So if you are looking for husband, come. You might meet a husband at the prophet's party. Amen? Yes, if you are looking for a wife, come. You might meet a wife at the prophet's party. If you are looking for anointing, just come. You can also get anointing at the party. Are you getting me? Yes, so everybody is invited. Just that is, there are certain requirements you need to meet to come for the party. You talk to James, he's our events manager. He will, he's going to manage the program and then he will tell you what is required for you to be at the party. And you shall be blessed. Amen? Amen. Yes, God bless you. Shall we make a yearly declaration? Let's make a yearly declaration. One go. I declare in the name of Jesus, I am fruitful in everything I do in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I am fruitful and I multiply every good thing that comes into my hands in Jesus' name. I bear fruits, fruits of righteousness in Jesus' name. I, I declare I am fruitful in the city and the fruitful out of the city in Jesus' name. I am like a city set on a hill. I cannot be hidden. I am fruitful and relevant everywhere I go in Jesus' name. I flourish and excel in my purpose. Jesus' name. I, I declare I am fruitful and useful to my church, family, and community, and business in Jesus' name. 
I am fruitful in marriage and in every relationship God brings my way. In Jesus' name, I am fruitful in the work of my hands. I prosper financially and I have the anointing of ownership. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you blessed you came to church? Let's share the grace with one accord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Hold on there, hold on there. If you are here, maybe you are not born again. You want to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You yourself, you know that if you are to die tonight, you are not going to heaven. You are going to hell. You want to be saved. You want your name to be written in the book of life. Wherever you are, just raise your hand quickly. Let me pray for you. If you are watching online, you are part of the service. If you want to get born again, you see, you want to have a change of life. Just walk up here. Let me pray with you. I just have a witness in my spirit. There is somebody that needs to get saved today. Wherever you are, just raise your hand quickly. Let me pray for you. Wherever you are, wherever you are, just raise your hand. Let me pray for you quickly. You, you want to get saved. You want, you, want, you want a complete life change. Just raise your hand above your head. Let me pray for you just before you go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, just raise your hand and let me speak over you. If you are in the corner, you are aware quickly. If you are watching online, come on, let's pray. Let me say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Today. Today. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord and personal Savior. As my Lord and personal Savior. Come and live in my heart. Come and live in my heart. Be the Lord and master of my life. Be the and the master of my life. Help me to live for you. Help me to live for you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Help me to walk in you. Help me to walk in you. In your name. In your name, Jesus. Jesus. Have I made this prayer? Have I made this prayer? Amen. Amen. If you made the prayer, make sure you join the newcomers as well, and you shall be attended to. Are you blessed? You came to church. Yes. Let's share the confession of faith. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me in waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy, blessings and favor, anointing and prosperity shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the, in the house of the, of the Lord, Lord forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed you came to church? Let's sing a prophetic song as we go home. The Lord bless me and keep me and make his face shine upon me.